Hello members and welcome to our first members only live stream. I am here in La Fiesta Tech, which is the college attached to Strangetown, and we're about to get started. I'm just going to give everybody a minute or two to get in here. I am really excited about this stream. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I've never really just went in and played university. You know what I mean? Just going in and playing the different uh, students. I think it's going to be so much fun. So we have... I'm just going to go ahead and move over to the cam so I can talk to you guys. Hello, hello. You might notice I look a little bit different. I'm not wearing my glasses today because I just don't want to. So I have everything on my screen like super big <laughs> so I can see it. And I'm just going to give you guys a second to get in here. I hope that the reminders worked okay and that everybody was able uh, to find their way to the stream. With this being our first members only stream, I was worried um, <laughs> that you guys wouldn't be able to find it. But I think, hopefully you're here. Let me know that you're here. I see two people here now. <laughs> as long as I'm not by myself, I'm ready to go. I guess I could stream to nobody. I don't know. That wouldn't be very much fun. Okay, well, I see you guys are in here. Even if you don't want to chat yet, that's fine. We can go ahead and get started. Let me go over to the game. So here we are in La Fiesta Tech. And we are going to be playing the Orisha Hovar Fraternity. I really feel like I butchered that. I really do. <laughs> but that's what we're going to be playing today. And But first of all, what I want to do is move in the uh, Sims in the Sim bin. So we have uh, Toronto, Stella Toronto. We have the student housing. And we have the Davis household. So I want to move these guys in. And then we can actually start playing. That way these guys are like in the neighborhood and we can interact with them and stuff. So we're going to have about 17 different students that we're going to be playing here in La Fiesta Tech. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here. And then we have... Let's see. Oops, no, don't do that. Don't do that. We have 4 in the sorority, 3 in the fraternity. Oops. And we're going to go around and sort of like get to know all of the students today. Hey, Christina, welcome to the stream. Yay, Anthony. <laughs> and then we have this guy here, the Worthington, and we have Shifting Paradigm. So we're going to be playing all of them, but today we're really going to focus on the fraternity. I'm so glad you could make it, Christina. I only see a couple people in here. I'm like, hey, Marcus, welcome. I'm worried that people don't understand because of the way the members only stream works, that they're not going to get a notification if they didn't set a reminder. So I hope everybody finds their way here tonight. <laughs> okay, so first of all, what I was saying is we're going to move in these... Uh, Sims from Simbin, first of all. And I think I'm going to move them all into a single dorm. That way we can just combine them into one household. <laughs> and we, that way we have fewer households to play. So let's see here. We're going to, I think we're going to move them into the desert dormitory. Now we have the Oasis dormitory it only has five rooms and we have six Sims. So that's not going to work. We have the desert dormitory with eight rooms and we have the Fiesta Hall with 16. I think I'm going to choose the desert dormitory. That way we can fit them all in there and only have two other dormies. Hey, Zinnia. Hey, Allie. Welcome, guys. I'm glad to see you all trickling in here. <laughs> okay, awesome. For a minute there, I was like, I'm just streaming to myself, but I'm so glad to see you guys coming in now. Okay, so we're just moving in the Simbin Sims into the neighborhood. We're going to move them in here into the desert dormitory. So I'm going to start with, oh wait, no, don't do that. First I want to read her little bio. So this is Stella Toronto. Stella has definitely come a long way from home. Will a diverse campus like this one offer enough opportunity for even her to fit in? Let's hope so. So I'm going to move her in. She's cute. I have never played with these Sims before, so this is like going to be really fun. Have any of you guys ever played with the La Fiesta Tech students? I haven't. 
Um, so I'm excited to get to know them and what I'm going to do with them. This is going to be really cool. When we finish, when they all graduate or fail out, uh, I'm going to move them back into Strange Town and we're going to get some fresh blood into Strange Town. And I think I might do the same thing with Sim State University in Pleasant View. But I don't know when I'll end up playing that one. Okay, it's just going to take forever to load. You love to play with them, Marcus? I'm excited because I never have. I have played some with the Sim State students. Not a lot. But I've played around with them before. But never at Lafayette Tech. You played the fraternity? <laughs> you played Stella before? She ended up getting married to Pascal. Aww. They'd make a cute couple, I think. And I want to see, like, what kind of romances and stuff we can get. What kind of relationships we can get going on between all the students here. I think it's going to be fun. If it will ever load. Oh, my God. You like to play the Legacy Challenge with them? Yeah, that'd probably be pretty fun. I know. I'm excited to play them. I can't wait to get in here and play these students. And see who's going to fail and who's going to pass. Who's going to succeed. Who's going to fall in love and who's going to be like a total butthole? <laughs> oh, hey, I just got a subscriber that's not in the stream. <laughs> Anytime somebody subscribes to me on YouTube, I get that pop up if my uh, streaming software is open. So sometimes I'll be recording like a video and I'll get a pop up that I got a subscriber and I'm like, oh my God, crap. So now I have to stop and like re-record that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not in my video. I forget to turn it off. Okay, this is seriously taking a long time. To okay, here it goes. Alright, here's Stella in the door. Oh, you know what else we need to do? We need to put a skyline. We need to put a skyline on the college town because it's that ugly blue sky right now. There's nothing out there. Okay, so here we are in the dorm. Wow, this is just like exactly like the dorm in Sim State, isn't it? Are all the dorms exactly the same? Yep, it is the exact same dorm. Wow, they couldn't even like remodel it a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so let's move her in. I'm going to put her down here on the first floor, I think. Which one of these rooms looks kind of girly? I think I'll give her this room. This looks the girliest room to me. And it has a computer with a desk in it. A desk with a computer in it. So we'll give her this one. She's going to go and start to practice painting. And while she's moving in, let's look at her personality really quick. Even though we're not going to be playing her right now. She has no relationships. How sad. She's a physics major. Okay. Um, let's see. She's a cancer. And she's a knowledge aspiration. That doesn't match, but I guess they created her that way. And so she's really neat, active, nice. Normally I make Cancer's family sims, but she's a knowledge sim. And whoa, look at these interests. She's got politics, money, environment, fashion, entertainment. Crafts. She has a lot of interests. This is an interesting sim. <laughs> School. Okay, so I'm not going to spend too much time on her. We'll get back to her when we play this household. I'm going to go, I'm going to save here. And then we're going to go out, and I'm just going to move the other ones in real quick. I don't want to spend too much time looking at their personalities and stuff, because we'll get to that uh, when we get to them. Back to the neighborhood. I just want them to be living here so that if any of our sims that we are going to play want to, like, have relationships with them, it'll make things easier. So let's move in the student housing. Uh, the Fiesta dorms are known all over campus for their diversity. Will William, Blossom, and Clara find in each other friendship or drive each other crazy? The Fiesta dorms. Oh, is that where they're supposed to live? They're supposed to live in the Fiesta dorms? Okay, well, they're not going to live in the Fiesta dorms. <laughs> they're going to live in the desert dorms. She's always in the political career in your game. What is her English name? Who's Stella? That is her English name. Um, I don't know. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> so we're going to move all these guys into here. I think it kind of wanted us to move them into the Fiesta dorms, but we're not going to do that. And then we'll move these two in too. And then I'm just going to load it so we can have them select their rooms. Oh, look at that sim. Yeah, I don't know any of these sims. This is really cool. 
And then we'll be done. Oh, and then we'll put the skyline on, and then we'll be done setting up, and then we can go actually go play the fraternity, which I'm really excited to play. I like went in there, and they have the hookah, they have the uh, juice keg thing, obviously. Okay, so let's give everybody their rooms. I'm just gonna start on the bottom floor. You can have this one. You can have this one. You can have this one, and you can have this one. And we got one more dude down here. You can have this one up here. And then we'll just have two dormies. Oh my gosh, get out of here, matchmaker. I have a mod that is supposed to stop the matchmaker from showing up, and it does not work. I have no idea why. Hey, Mary, welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you have a headache. I apologize for that. I apologize for that? Why do I apologize that you have a headache? I mean, I apologize it took you a while to find the link. I was worried that people weren't going to be able to find the link. Other sims are now beginning to move on to the lot. Okay, let's let's see who we get here. Um, Because with the member thing, I can only post it on the community tab for members only to see. I can't post it anywhere else, so. If any members miss this, make sure you look on the community tab, and when you see me post that, set a reminder and it will give you a, uh, it should give you a notification when we go live. I just want to see what, uh, dormies we get here. How is my teeth? <laughs> Are my teeth? I have a mouthful of stitches, guys. I... All my jaw is stitched up right here. But it doesn't hurt too bad as long as I constantly take Advil. <laughs> I just have to... If I let the Advil wear off, then it starts to hurt. But overall, it's not that bad. Okay, who we... We have Myrtle Martin. Oh my gosh, this... She's... She's... Clara is starting crap with William Williamson. It didn't notify you? Oh crap. I don't know why. Hey, Steven. I am doing pretty good today. Look, she's so mean. Okay, well, I'm leaving this dorm alone. We're going to go actually play our fraternity now. I just wanted to get all of the Sim Ben Sims moved in. So they're moved in. And we'll come back and play this household another day. Okay, so let's go back out to the neighborhood. But I'm glad to see that some of you made it. Hey, Mindy. Glad you could make it. We're just getting started, so you guys haven't missed anything. You didn't get notified either? Oh, my gosh. I have to figure out a way to, like, send you guys out a notification or something because it doesn't work the same as it did with Patreon. Okay, we're going to go ahead and load up our fraternity here. So let, let me read a little bit about the fraternity. The Arisha Hovar fraternity was founded by Guy Wrightley's great-grandfather decades ago. Will Guy maintain his family's strong academic history or allow frat life to be too much of a distraction? Ooh, let's find out. You had to finagle things so you could get it on your iPad. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad to see all of you guys here. We're, we're going to have fun. I'm really excited about this. And I don't know what's going to happen with our fraternity guys here. And so let's start off by meeting these guys because I don't know any of them. So this is Guy Rightly right here. Look at this. Look at this smug look on his face. <laughs> Hi, hello, Guy. So Guy is a popularity sim. And he's. it looks like he's already a sophomore with a 3.2 GPA. And he is going to pass this semester. He His... Uh, Meter here is pretty much maxed out. Hey, Alina, welcome. You can't go to the community tab on your iPad? Really? It's not available on mobile? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, guys. I had no idea. That's weird. Huh. Well, I guess you could always, like, just uh, copy the link and send it to yourself. I know that's a pain in the butt. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, so only on your PC. Hmm. That's so weird. I've got to figure out a better way to notify you guys. And I had thought about making a channel in the Discord just for members. But I haven't been able to figure out a way <laughs> to do that. Because there's no bot that can do that. I would have to manually add you and then check every month. And I don't know. 
I'm still working on that. But in the meantime, we'll just have to sort of figure it out with the community tab link. <laughs> hey, Summer, welcome. I'm so glad you could make it. Summer is our newest member. <laughs> you were able to on your phone? Maybe it's just certain phones or something. I don't know. I don't know what's up with YouTube's technology, guys. I don't know. Okay, so here he is a literature major. And let's see if we can find out more about Guy. So Guy is a Taurus, which normally would be pleasure or romance. So these Sims are just like the pre-made Sims in Pleasant View and stuff. They have mismatched Zodiac and aspirations, in my opinion. <laughs> And so he is very sloppy. He's kind of active. He is very nice. He's a very nice guy. But he has no sense of humor. He's very serious. <laughs> and he's kind of active and a little on the shy side. And his uh, bio says, Guy is a great student, a good friend, and generally successful at all of his endeavors. Can anything knock him off his even keel? Okay, so he's like a really super nice dude here. He's interested in the environment and entertainment, health and fashion. And we don't know what his hobby is yet. I guess we'll find out. And, um, oh, he has all of his, you know, these basic memories. Had his first kiss with Memory Sim. Memory Sim? Had his first kiss with Mystery Sim. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm tired, guys, because I went to a concert last night, and then we didn't get much sleep, and then we had to drive all the way home today, so I'm sorry. Just bear with me. Plus, I've got the stitches, so bear with me. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> He's on the Anthony side and looks, I know. He's not that good looking, but maybe his personality will make up for that. Okay, and he <clears throat> he's turned on... By brown hair and athletic. And he doesn't like girls who wear makeup. He likes natural girls. Athletic girls. Or guys. Or guys. We don't know what their... Uh, we don't know what their gender preferences are. Actually. I went to a concert uh, for a band called Explosions in the Sky. And they were amazing. They are a post-rock band. They're actually Mr. Pleasant's favorite, one of Mr. Pleasant's favorite bands. Okay, we're gonna, right now I want to lock in, make the Dean's List so we can work on that for him. He wants to get a pet. Aw, maybe we could get them a pet. I think it'd be neat to have a dog in the fraternity house. But let's go meet the other guys first. And what, wait, what time does he have to go to class? Let's just check real quick. 2 to 4 p.m. Okay, so now we have over here, this is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is Matthew Hart. I took a nice picture of Matthew Hart drinking out of the keg for Instagram. <laughs> You're sleep deprived too from all your college classes. Yeah, let's just relax together and be sleep deprived together. <laughs> what are you majoring in, Christina? Okay, and so he is, oh, he's a family sim, yay! He's a family sim who wants to flirt. Okay, we gotta lock that in. We gotta make these romances happen. <laughs> oh man, I should have had a glass of wine, you guys. I didn't even think, I don't think I have any. Should have got some. Oh, well he is already involved with Sarah Love. Look, we didn't even look at Guy's relationships. Okay, he just had, he's just friends with the other dudes. And he's got one bolt with Jasmine here. Um, but he is already involved with Sarah Love. He's in love with Sarah Love. <laughs> you're gonna have a coffee? Oh my god, I wouldn't be able to sleep if I had a coffee right now. Oh, you're majoring psychology and pre-law. Wow, Christina, that's impressive. <laughs> you think uh, Matthew's cute, Mary? I do. I think he's cute. Okay, so he's measuring in econ. He is a freshman. He goes to class at 5 p.m. He's got a few skills here. He's going to pass this semester for sure. And he likes, he likes himself a big girl. <laughs> he likes a big girl with blonde hair. And that is not, well, he, she's blonde. Maybe we can put some weight on her. <laughs> Let's have Sarah eat some cake and get, and get a little bit bigger so that, uh, so that he likes her more. <laughs> Ooh, some Jamaican coffee. Oh, that sounds good, Mindy. I want some of that. <laughs> he likes them thick, you guys. Okay, well, we can thicken up, Sarah. <laughs> we'll chunk her up. 
<laughs> and let's see what else he's got going on. He's got his memories. We don't know his hobby. <clears throat> he's interested in money, environment, entertainment, fashion, food. And did we miss something? Did we miss his sign and stuff? Oh, yeah. He's a Leo who's a family sim. Weird to me. I know Max's was creative with Sarah Love. <laughs> and uh, he's active. He's a little sloppy. He's kind of like right down the middle on most stuff. He's not too extreme on other end, on either end, except for he's a little bit sloppy. And his bio says, Matthew came to school with his longtime sweetheart to get educated and grow up a bit. He's completely in love and excited about enjoying the college experience. I wonder if their love is going to last or if another big booty girl is going to catch his eye. <laughs> Drinks are on you. <laughs> yes, send me a wine and then after the wine, I'll have some of Mindy's coffee. <laughs> Okay, so let's go meet this guy. So this is the one I'm excited to play. Mickey. Mickey is a romance sim. Romance sims to me are fun in college. So he is... Look, he wants to woohoo. Oh, I'm locking that in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I don't know if I want to give them their secondary aspiration now or wait. I guess we could give it to them now. I usually wait until they finish college. What do you guys think? Should we give him secondary aspirations now or wait until they get out of college? He does look like the classic bad boy. Um, let me see. So they have enough. They haven't. They don't have enough yet, I don't think. But let's go ahead and give them their uh, aspiration trees too. And let me do that for everybody real quick. Okay, I'm not gonna give him super fertility. His nose is like an extractor hood. <laughs> we should see after college. Yeah, because I think most... They're they're young. They're still one-dimensional. They haven't found themselves enough to have their second aspiration yet. So let's give them their aspiration benefits for their primary aspiration. And let them work on that in college. And then after college, we can just add another facet to their uh, personality there. Okay. Yeah, I agree, you guys. I think you guys are right about that. Okay, so let's go back here to Mickey. Mickey Dosser. Now, Mickey is not doing good here. Mickey's not doing good in college. Not He's not doing well. He's not doing well or he's not doing good. He's not doing well. <laughs> he's friends with all the guys. And the who is this gunner guy? I don't know who this is. Let's see here. He's on academic probation. He's undeclared. He's a freshman and he's in. Uh, he's on academic probation. Oh my god. But guess what? He wants to make the dean's list. I think I'll lock that in for him because he's going to roll the want to woohoo over and over again. But make the dean's list. We might not get that opportunity for him again. So I'm going to lock that in. That way we can keep him working on his studies. He's going to flunk out. <laughs> oh, I hear you, Christina. I've been out of college for a long time, and I'm still trying to find myself. <laughs> he should get a girlfriend called Minnie. <laughs> I agree, Allie. I'm right there with you. Still trying to find myself. Okay, well, he's got a GPA of 2.0, which is not great, but he's still here. He's still hanging around. He's also a Leo, and he's pretty very playful. He's very playful. He's nice and outgoing, but he is sloppy, 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 and lazy. And he's fat. <laughs> he's like almost as fat as you can be. <laughs> you didn't find yourself till you're about 40. Yeah, like I'm just now getting to the point where I have a good sense of myself. But still sometimes I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing in life? <laughs> okay, he his interests include weather, school. He's interested in school. He doesn't seem to be, does he? Politics, money, and health. And we don't know his hobby. He has the memory of getting put on academic probation. And he likes werewolves who wear jewelry. <laughs> yes. He loves a wealthy werewolf with lots of jewels. <laughs> and he does not like charismatic girls. He likes socially awkward girls like me. <laughs> 
but they have to be hairy and wear jewels. <laughs> oh man, Mickey, you are really something. Okay, so those are, oh, we didn't read his bio. We didn't read his bio. Hold on. Let's do that and then we'll get ready to play. His bio says, Mickey isn't going anywhere fast, but he's quite happy about it. Even his good friends have a hard time getting him off the couch. Will he ever change or will he simply master the art of doing nothing? I think he's a prime candidate for the slacker career. <laughs> he likes him, Harry. <laughs> he's just lazy. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get him to do anything. Okay, well, the time has come. Let's press play and start working on everybody here. First of all, we're going to go back to Guy. And Guy wants to make the Dean's List, get a pet, and invite someone over. Um, let's invite Jasmine over then. Let's go invite Jasmine over. Where's the phone in this place? Oh, and let's take a look at the house, too. Oh my gosh, Matthew went straight for the keg. <laughs> He's like, it's 7 in the morning, I need a drink. I'm stressed. So this is their party room over here. They've got a keg, they've got a hookah. Or, I'm sorry, a bubble blower. <laughs> you think you're in love with Mickey? <laughs> And this is their, like, family room over here, their TV room, and they've got a bar. This looks like a typical fraternity house. And then upstairs, we've got uh, plenty of room for more people to join the fraternity. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds. And a lot of double beds for the woohooing, too. I like that. Okay, what did he just do? He did not invite somebody over. Um, okay, he wants to get a skill, so let's do that. Anytime they want to get a skill, I like to do that. Um, he needs charisma, so let's have him go work on that. Do they not have a mirror downstairs? Seriously? Oh, here's one. Okay. You practice your speech and quit playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> oh, yeah, they don't do keg stands. They do keg stands in The Sims 3. I personally, I, there's a lot of things I like about the Sims 3 college experience, but I feel like the Sims 2 did it better overall. Okay, so he wants to flirt, and he wants to do research with someone and go to class. So doing research isn't really going to help him very much. Let's have him call Sarah over. So where's the phone? Okay, let's invite Sarah over. This guy's going to drink. They're just going to be drunk all the time. Dude, it's 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Lay off the keg. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh my gosh, have you guys heard about The Sims 4? There's going to be Sims 4 University. It leaked. I'm, I'm excited, really, to see what that's going to be like. Um, Let's invite her over. Let's dodge. Sims 2 University was your favorite pack, I know. It's one of my favorite ones. Like, one of the things that's been stopping me from really playing The Sims 4 more is, like, I can't send my Sims to college and it just makes no sense to me that Sims could be, like, a doctor or a lawyer or something. And they didn't go to college. They just graduate from high school and magically have the skills to be surgeons. I just, I can't stand it. <laughs> I love Open for Business, too. It is really fun. I've been having a lot of fun playing with the land grabs in their store. What is that? Oh, that's a grill or something. Okay, here comes Sarah, you guys. Here comes Sarah and her butt crack showing. Oh, Sarah. Okay, we might have to fix that. Greet her. She's wearing some default replacement jeans. Those look like the jeans from, like, 2001. Remember those ultra low-rise jeans that everybody used to wear? In early 2000s. Sarah, where did you go? I know. Me too, Allie. I'm, I'm really hoping. I think it's going to happen. I think it's coming. Just whether or not it's going to be good is the question. But I hope so. Look, look at this guy. He's going to be drunk and stoned <laughs> before he goes to class. She's from the sorority. Is she? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, ah, I think we gotta do something about this shirt, guys. We gotta do something about this shirt. Normally, I let them wear what they want, but when their butt crack's hanging out, like, we gotta fix it. So, let's, um, really quick. Am I gonna have to make her selectable? No, we'll just gussy up. Just gussy up. Um, let's just plant. 
I don't think plan outfit's gonna do it. He made out with her, yeah. She just needs a butterfly tattoo. <laughs> He's tipsy, that's right. He was in there drinking. She And she came over, he just jumped on her. I was just gonna see if there was any other outfit for her to wear, but there's not. Okay, we're gonna have to buy her something. Hey, we get to see all of her outfits, though. All the rest of her outfits are pretty cute. It's just, she, we gotta, we gotta cover her up. Have some modesty, Sarah. Jeez. I feel like I'm your mother. <laughs> I have to put some clothes on you. <laughs> okay, let's buy clothes. And we'll just get her another shirt that's, like, similar to this one. Because I want to let her keep her own style. Just a, or maybe get her some pants that are higher rise or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, their shirts do match. It's cute. They should have a mixer. That's a really good idea. We will do that. Um, let's find... Let's cover Sarah up here. Oh my gosh. Come on. It's going to take me forever. I got to get these coats out of here. I hate it when you download something like outerwear and then it shows up in the everyday category and just clogs up your everyday category. Oh, and those hideous sweaters. I got to get out of there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to drag this down. There we go. So she has like a bluish purple kind of shirt on. That's still going to be too. We need something tucked. We need something tucked in. Nope. They do like to throw parties. And this is the ultimate party house, too. So I think it'd be a great idea for them to... Maybe they'll invite the sorority over. I mean, it's 9.30 in the morning. It's the perfect time of day for a party, right? <laughs> I'm trying to find a tucked in shirt here. And maybe they can invite the sorority. We'll invite, like, as many of the other students over as we can. Beginning with the sorority. And then working our way down the popularity ladder. We have to figure out who the popular kids are going to be. <laughs> yeah, there's four girls in the sorority and three of them. Yes. Okay, wait. Here's a shirt. That's not... That doesn't look like her to me. Maybe we'll give her this purple t-shirt. Huh, I don't know. I don't... Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's something. That's the Angela Pleasant shirt, though. That reminds me of Angela Pleasant, so now I can't put it on her. <laughs> this one. That'll work. Yes, I want to purchase it. There. That's, that's better. Okay. Now she's covered up. She's still wearing purple. And then, once we get out of here, we'll go throw a party. Does anybody want to throw a party? <laughs> Surely somebody does, right? Oh, okay. He wanted to flirt, so we got that out of the way. Yay! Wine and crackers and cheese! Oh, no. I hope you don't get sick, Mary. Well, he wants to get a pet, too. He wants to woohoo, so inviting some girls over would help him with that goal. Um, Let's see. Cause like I want I want to throw them a party, but I kind of want them to want to throw a party first. I'm hoping that our popularity sim here will want to throw a party, and then we will. So let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Cheers, guys! Cheers! I'll toast you with my bottle of water. <laughs> All right, so. Let's see what's going to happen next. This guy is going to go and do his assignment. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. College do assignment. Let's check on these two. What are they going to do? Uh-oh. Oh, they're going to woohoo! <laughs> Your semi-cold Pepsi Max. Mmm. I hate Pepsi. I think Pepsi tastes like dishwater. <laughs> Yeah, these two have decided that they just couldn't keep their hands off each other anymore, and they're headed upstairs. I guess we're going to find out which room is Matthew's. Uh-oh. We're going to have to replace these stairs. We're going to have to replace these with modular stairs. Okay, well, this is Matthew's room. He, cho he took this room for himself. Oh, my God, this dude's in here doing his homework. <laughs> oh, you're having some gin and tonic. I know everybody will be tipsy except for me. Okay, they tried to woohoo, and then she couldn't come up here, you guys. So, we're gonna have to replace these stairs right now. 
We're gonna replace these with modular stairs. I know, I'm sorry. Mr. Pleasant loves Pepsi too. He's a Pepsi person and I, I don't like it. I'm a Coke person. But I don't drink soda like maybe once or twice a year. But if I drink it, I drink Coke. <laughs> I don't remember what stairs were there now. I, I gotta undo. Okay, those. Is it these? No. I gotta try and figure out which stairs these are. Can I copy them? Upwardly mobile. Do we have a modular upwardly mobile? Because that's really going to ruin all the woohooing going on if we don't have modular stairs in here. Um, I don't think so. So we're just going to put some in. I really don't care. You're a Dr. Pepper person. <laughs> I do not like Dr. Pepper. Oh, it's, it's too sweet. It tastes like cough syrup or something to me. Okay, let me turn move objects on. It still won't let me put it down. Put them down! Put it down! Crap. Alright, what is the deal here? <laughs> I need these stairs. Okay, there we go. Those are not the right color, but they'll, they'll kind of work, I guess. Nobody cares. That's fine. That's fine. So now that we're using the modular stairs, more than one sim should be able to walk up the stairs at the same time so that they can continue their woohoo and one doesn't go up there and the other stay behind getting all mad and then they cancel the woohoo. I know, just imagine not being able to woohoo. You're just stuck at the bottom like, I want to woohoo so bad! <laughs> Made with cane sugar instead of corn syrup. Now that would probably be good. Okay, guys. So we're going to... I'm going to have them go back up here. We're going to try this again. Because they were going for it. And who are we to stand in the way of love? Here she comes. And um, Guy's over here doing his homework. And they're just like, whatever. <laughs> nope. You get in, get in bed. I guess this is the kind of thing that happens. Um, ask. No, no, no. Get, no, get back here. Sarah. Ask Sarah to join. Oh, and also, we have, um, young adult pregnancy, so our Sims can get pregnant in college. That would be really super interesting. Yeah, Guy doesn't care. He's just gonna hang out. He's like, don't mind me, guys. I'm just doing my homework. <laughs> Okay, so they were definitely going to woohoo, so I'm just going to have them do it, since it's my fault that they got interrupted. Um, casual woohoo. And let's see if Guy hangs around. Oh, he finished his assignment. Maybe he'll leave now. <laughs> Not if she isn't selectable. That's right, Mary. That is true. But just in general. Um, should we make her selectable? I don't think we should. We'll wait until we play her forced to join <laughs> okay so guys like um maybe I'm, maybe i need to go dudes maybe i need to get out of here he wants to do some research um he wants to meet someone he wants to meet someone he needs to meet some of the girls maybe from the uh, sorority so he's leaving he's out of here <laughs> That's true. Okay, well, I'll make her selectable. We'll try it. We'll see. Oh, you know what? Ooh, 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 hold on. Before we do anything, guys, we gotta set up ACR. Um, for our risky woohoo chance. Because right now, I think it's like 5%. Because I haven't set it up for this neighborhood yet. Oh, and I forgot to do the skylines, too. I always forget when you play a college neighborhood. It's like a completely new neighborhood. So you got to redo everything over again. All right. So let's do... Uh, this is how I do my ACR. Because I know people have asked me before. And I've put it in the Discord before. But here's just a real quick rundown of what I do. I go to Hoodwide Settings. Global Default. Oh! Change Risky to 20%. Oh, it's... Okay. I guess it carries over from your main neighborhood to your subhood. Because all my settings are here. So I didn't know that. Um, my default risky is 20%. My multiplier is four times. Cool. All right. 
So let's go check, actually, look at this dude. Look at Mickey. <laughs> Mickey's just down here having a good old time. I was gonna check their gender preferences really quick. Let's see. What am I, what am I doing? Oh, I need a Sim Blender. We'll put a Sim Blender over here in the corner. We'll check his gender preference. Oh, okay, he's straight. Let's check guy. Traits, guy, gender preference. And he's also straight, okay. And then we know, of course, that math. I keep calling him Matthew. Is that his name? Yes, Matthew. <laughs> Make it times two because they're in college. That is a good point, Mary. They would have a higher timer. I think you're absolutely right. Let's do it times two since they're young and they're young and how, what's a good what's a good way I can say it? It's not offensive. They're young and robust. <laughs> I don't know. You don't think these frat boys are ready to be fathers? I don't either. I don't either. Okay, I'm gonna change this into a an orchid. I like changing it into an orchid. Oh, tree's on fire. I don't care. Actually, let's just delete it. Okay, what are they doing? Did we not did we not initiate this or what? Casual Woohoo. Get to it, guys! We want to see some action! <laughs> I wonder if it goes both ways, Mary. Like, I wonder if it... If I change it here, if it also changes it in... In the main neighborhood? Or if only changing it in the main neighborhood changes it in the subhood? I don't know. I'll have to check when I go back to Strange Town. That's a good point. <laughs> My garden's burning down. I don't care. <laughs> College kids woohoo all the time. Oh, it'll still be, Summer, it'll still be, it'll still be working. It just won't be here on the lot. Because they'll, they all have their tokens. Okay, Mickey has to go to class and Mickey is, oh, Mickey. Mickey's been on the hookah all day. <laughs> Let's hope he makes it alright. Let's go check on Guy. Oh, Guy! Guy, what are you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god! Is he... Is he woohooing with himself? <laughs> or was he gonna woohoo with Mickey? Was he gonna woohoo with Mickey, you guys? <laughs> what is he doing? Do booty calls not work when it's not on the lot, Summer? Here, we'll respawn it then, because I want that to work. Oh my god, Guy! Was Guy- I really think Guy and Mickey were gonna woohoo or something. Oh my god. Here, let's, uh... I don't- I don't know. I don't- We'll leave that on the lot just in case. Um... Okay. He's taking care of himself! <laughs> okay, let's move- let's move along. <laughs> Let's give him his privacy. <laughs> okay, he's done. He's got to go to college. He's got to go to class. <laughs> we gave him his privacy. We looked away. Sorry, guy. Didn't mean to walk in on you like that. <laughs> I have never seen that before. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, whenever we were hovering over guy, it said relax. Like he was relaxing in bed. Like he was going to woo. With himself. Or possibly Mickey. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so these two need to wake up. Get up, get up. And we're gonna stop controlling her so that she can go and be on her way. Um, we don't want to play her. <laughs> he doesn't have a computer screen on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this... This... They, this uh, matchmaker is not supposed to show up on my lot, and I don't know why that mod isn't working. I just don't know. I check. I even double checked it today to make sure that I had the mod. Um, 
so that the matchmaker doesn't show up. And I do have it installed properly, and it still doesn't work. <laughs> well, Matthew's just going to make some sandwiches. His uh, fraternity buddies are at class. Uh, his lover is over here asleep in bed. She's getting up now. And maybe she got pregnant. We'll find out next time we play her. Or when we play the sorority. We'll probably play the sorority next. Oh. Did I call her a thing? <laughs> I know. I'm telling you guys I'm sleep deprived. I'm sorry. I can't think of words. <laughs> Matthew made some sandwiches for everybody. After he does that, maybe we'll work on some of his school stuff. So he... Well... Unless he wants to get a skill, there's really nothing we could do. We could get them a pet. He wants to get a pet. We could get a pet for the uh, fraternity house. What do you guys think? Welcome to the Greek life. Her magic is too powerful, Mary. <laughs> her magic is too powerful that not even mods will keep her away. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, somebody just streaked through here. Who is that? Reuben. Look at him. <laughs> He stopped in front of the ma matchmaker and did a little dance. <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. So, I'm just going to fast forward so these guys can fit. Hurry up and eat your sandwiches. Who's this walking by? Oh, there's a Jasmine. She's the one of these guys knows her. I think Guy knows her. Yeah, oh, he's got two bolts with her, too. And he already knows her. So she's like a dormy, but she's kind of part of the story, I think, because he already knows her. We might, we're going to have to invite her over. Three boys taking care of a pet, I know. It'll run away. You're probably right. The slouchy college walk. I know that young adult walk. <laughs> okay, hurry up. Hurry up with this and put these away. Put away those sandwiches. She's just walking around in her underwear in the frat house. Jesse Pilferson is no longer a family friend. Who the heck is that? Oh, God. Here they come meeting all the professors. Okay, I know. You met like a million professors. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know you. Okay, goodbye. And Matthew is going to class. He just left the sandwiches out. So, Guy is going to listen to Mickey's joke. Oh, I can do that. I can't believe that guy was up there woohooing with himself. Look at her! Sarah! Sarah's over here like thinking how hot the other frat guys are. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think these two, I don't know, they're tickling each other. He wants to appreciate Mickey. Okay, App appreciate him then. I appreciate you so much, Mickey. I appreciate how you never do any work. Play with Mickey. Oh, look, he wants to throw a party, guys. He wants to throw a party. Yes. We're gonna have a party right now. I know. <laughs> I know it takes forever for them to walk anywhere. So let's go throw a party right now and invite the sorority girls over. Uh, oops. I always go to call. Throw. Let's just have a... Let's have a toga party. Why not? Let's have a toga party. Uh, oh, no, he wants to have a sports party. Sorry, he wants to have a sports party. We're having a sports party. Toga. <laughs> we'll have plenty of time for a toga. But he wants a sports party right now, so we're going to do sports. <laughs> we'll do toga another time. When he wants to throw a toga. Or if he just wants to throw a random party and doesn't tell us which kind. But since he specifically wants sports, maybe there's like a game on or something. <laughs> Okay, so he only knows Jasmine and Francis J. Worthington and his professors. Okay, we are not inviting the professors. So what I'll do is I'm going to invite these two. And then let's go ahead and teleport over the sorority girls. Um, let's teleport because they would definitely invite them. Or they heard, the sorority girls heard about the party and they're just going to show up uninvited. So let's see. I know you guys wanted toga. You guys wanted toga, but I gave you sports. <laughs> okay, sorority. Jesse Pilverson, who was friends with somebody. Um, okay, and summon 
DJ verse. DJ verse. Wow. That's cheesy. <laughs> Tele uh, teleport over Monica Bradford. And then I don't know where Jessica is. I guess she's went to class or something. But hey, we got three girls over here. And we're about to have four girls over here. Okay, the guests are all invited. Break out the refresh. Oh my god, did you see those girls when Mickey walked in there? Mickey walked in the room and they're all like, oh yeah. <laughs> you want a toga party? Sports it is. <laughs> okay, well the girls are hitting the keg pretty hard, so I think they're ready to party. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh man, look at them. And they all like Mickey. Mickey, do you know any of these girls? <gasps> Look, Mickey wants to declare the art major, you guys. Oh, we gotta do that right now. Hold on. Hold on. Put a stop to the party. Mickey has a preference. Go over here. Call college and declare your major. You have plenty. You've been drinking all day, Mickey, you drunk. Mickey's ready for some love. I want him to declare the art major right now, and then he can come back for- Wait, 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 what? What? What happened? Oh, look at this! Guy is out here falling, in, falling for Jasmine, who is not a sorority girl. <laughs> They've got two bolts together. Oh, she just got a crush on him. Okay, um, declare major, please. Oh, look at this! Oh, I love it! Okay, where's Art? There, now go away, Mickey. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on Guy here. Guy and Jasmine. Oh, I like Jasmine. Look at her tattoos. He is, he, he likes those tattoos, too. <laughs> One is Chunky. Oh, that's, uh, Matthew likes him Chunky. He's at class. He's the one who already has a girl. He likes blonde chunkers. Oh, he just got a crush. Yay. Okay, well, it looks like Guy is going to be getting with Jasmine. Um, he's going to go drink some punch to loosen up a little bit. This doesn't look like a very fun party. Maybe we should put on sports. Somebody go turn on sports. This is supposed to be a sports party. Nobody's watching the game or anything. Mickey's gonna woo tonight. <laughs> I bet you he does. Let's check on him. Okay, he wants to woohoo, guys. He wants to woohoo. He wants to throw a toga party. <laughs> we'll do that next. And he wants to flirt. Okay. So let's have him scope out the room. <laughs> let's see. Uh, scope room. And let's see who he likes. <laughs> I don't know where the other girl is. Where did she go? There's another girl creeping around here somewhere. Is the girl better or himself? Oh, Jesse. Oh, he likes Jesse, you guys. He likes Jesse. Oh, he wants to go on a date with her. He wants to flirt with her. Okay, let's get this going. Oh, Jesse's cute. All right, let's go charm her. Mickey's ready to get lucky. <laughs> she, her outfit doesn't match at all. I wonder if that's from my default replacements. But oh well, it doesn't matter. It's college. Who cares? You're right, Marcus. Only the invited people, which they have totally been ignoring. They've totally been ignoring the invited people. Let's have Guy go... Uh, let's have him turn on sports and then invite the invited people over to watch sports and then we'll get back to Mickey. So let's change to sports real quick. Okay, now invite this guy over. Um, ask him to join and who else did we invite? Oh, we invited Jasmine. Let's invite her to join. Not you. And they can go watch sports together. Where the heck is it? Okay. And then we'll get back to Mickey and Jesse over here. Okay, he flirted with her. Oh, now he wants to woohoo and ask her on a date. So let's ask her on a date. Let's just go for it. Um, ask. No, ask on date. Can we, wait, can we do that while there's a party going on? I don't think I've ever tried to ask anybody on a date while there was a party going on. I don't know if you can. Let me try. Let's see. Oh, yeah. 
Um, okay, and this dude's back. So are they on a date? Okay, we're having a party and they're on a date. Okay, I've definitely never done that before. So let's see what they want to do. He wants to play, tell joke, and dine out. So let's play. Let's get those tickles going. Get the tickle on. He can't even tickle her. He barely knows her. Let's do... Oh, I don't like any of those. What else did he want to do? Tell joke. Okay. I can't believe she said yes because they barely freaking know each other. Why can I not? Oh, there it is. Yes, woohoo is the main sport. <laughs> oh, you have to stay on the lot. I see, Marcus. You can't go. It, it doesn't let you choose to go out if you're during a party. Alright, so I'm just checking to see what everybody's doing. She's she's going to get herself a drink. The party's not bad now. And she wants to dance, play, and talk. Let's do a little let's do a little chat. Or they can just go straight to the woohoo. <laughs> They're just going straight upstairs. They're going straight upstairs. Okay. Well, we didn't have to try very hard. They only have a relationship of 14 and two bolts, and they're already just going to town. Okay, hold on. Let's make her selectable just in case. Okay, just in case. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be right if like one of these girls didn't end up getting accidentally pregnant, right? <laughs> His taste in clothes is just like her taste in boys. <laughs> her taste in clothes, yeah. Yeah, her taste in clothes is terrible. They have two bolts? I can't see because I have my glasses on. For a minute, I thought they had three bolts. Yeah, there's no floor play. They just get straight to it. They can't help themselves. So while they're... Oh, look, he doesn't have his hat on. Look. Look at his hair. He's actually... I think he looks cuter without his hat on, really. And I just want to check on the other guys right now. Um, oh, he wants to throw a sports party. He wants to jump rope. Does he need body? No, he needs cooking. But it doesn't matter because all of these guys are going to pass already. Even if they just screw around for the rest of the semester. And... Oh, look, he's actually going to get, like, an A+. plus. We're going to have to keep up with their money as well. Guy, what are you doing? <laughs> look, Guy came... <laughs> Guy is creepy, y'all. He's creepy. This is the second time he's, like, sitting in the room while they're... <laughs> while they're back there wooing. He's like, hey, guys, I got some pizza. <laughs> Get out of here, guy! Yeah! Get, that was so creepy! <laughs> and, oh, this is the same bed that the other two were woohooing in. Ew! Ew! <laughs> he wants to take part! <laughs> oh, no, Mary! <laughs> he's gonna go- now he's gonna go woohoo with himself again! <laughs> Oh my god, that would be hilarious. That would be just hilarious if he did that. Oh, he's gonna go take a bath. He's gonna go take a long bath. <laughs> oh, man. The fraternity is fun. I like playing the fraternity. Okay, we gotta get back to these guys. Because they're still on a date. They're, everybody's having a good time at the party. There's a pizza. How's their relationship doing? Oh my god, look at this. She's got a crush on Matthew, too. She's got a crush on Matthew, and he does not like her. He does not have a crush on her, but she has a one-sided crush on him. What if she's just sleeping with me Mickey to, like, try to make Matthew notice her? She's just slumming it with Mickey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, I would not want to be sleeping in that bed. Oh, that's the woohoo bed. Now Mickey's like, I need some pizza after that. I'm worn out. <laughs> and so they're like almost friends. <laughs> they're almost friends after that woohoo. She's taking her pizza outside. So everybody's down here drinking. Oh, these two guys are not getting along. Bye. Oh, no. Are we going to have a fight? We're going to have a fight in here with from Francis Worthington and Monica Bradford. 
Okay, we need to stop controlling uh, Jesse too. Well, I've had better dates, but that wasn't totally awful. If we go out again, though, I hope we do it a little. We do a little better. <laughs> oh, she's a romance sim too. Aw, look, isn't that cute? I gotta get a screenshot of that. And also with Guy, like, being all creepy in the background, we gotta get that in there, too. Oops, hold on. There we go. That's what we need. <laughs> we gotta commemorate this time. You know what? Guy's the only one who hasn't had a woohoo yet. Let's, let's check on you, Guy. Oh, he's gonna go... He's gonna go kiss this girl. He took a bath. He got all freshened up for her. He's gonna go kiss her. I wonder if he's gonna get a woohoo tonight. Oh no, she just went back upstairs. <laughs> it's purely physical. Nobody's in love. Well, Matthew and Sarah are in love, but they were already in love. He keeps trying to go kiss her. Here he goes. Here he goes. And she's going back downstairs again. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, wait. What's that? What's happening? She likes Matthew. Oh, my gosh. This is a mess. Who is that? The professor showed up? What? You're not welcome here, professor. Okay, everybody's leaving. The party's over. Everybody's leaving. It's 11 o'clock at night. So, I guess we better take care of these guys. Oh, we're still controlling Jesse. Oops. Um, let's see. Stop controlling Jesse. Jesse, get out of here. <laughs> so they're eating pizza. He wants... Oh, he just wanted to influence people to do a bunch of crap. He wants to get on the Dean's List, which he is going to get onto for his sophomore year. Matthew over here. Great work building those household friendships. At level three, your Greek house's campus fame is growing fast, and you've made room to bring in more pledges to order around. Yay! We opened up another spot for another pledge. That's a new kind of workout. <laughs> well, let's see here. He wants to do some, some late night jump roping. So let's do it, I guess. You don't need pizza. You need jump rope. <laughs> I know you think so, Christina. Oh, look. Uh, Matthew's hobby is fitness, you guys. All right. And now he wants to make the Dean's List. I like it. What does he need? He needs a cooking skill. So get in here and let's watch the cooking channel, I guess. And what are you doing, Guy? Guy is like starving. Wasn't he eating a whole bunch of pizza earlier? <gasps> oh my god! What happened? Oh! Oh, look at Mickey! Look at that pose! <laughs> Ew! Mickey? I don't know. That's not, that's not a cute pose. But I think they just got a crush on each other. He did. He just got a crush on her and she got a crush on him at the same time. It took them like one day to pair up, didn't it? <laughs> we know what Guy's hobby is. <laughs> oh, man. Guy. Oh, that was so funny. I, I swear I've never seen a Sim do that before. I don't know what he was trying to do. I, I don't know what she's doing either. Guy, get up here and eat some pizza. Get up here and eat your pizza. And don't be creeping around while other people are trying to woohoo. She likes his dad bod. She must. She must like that dad bod. Well, it's time for him to go to sleep. She needs to leave. Okay, let's say goodbye. She needs to get on out of here and go back to from wherever she came from. <laughs> go back to your sorority house. Aww. And let's find a room for Mickey. Now, he's going to have... I think he's going to take this bed over here. Why don't you sleep in that bed? Uh, Matthew claimed this bed first. So, this one's going to be his after he... What's he... Is he drinking again? He's going to grab some pizza and then he's going to go to sleep here. And then Guy... Guy can take this room... Uh, this bed. Now, let's give him his own room. I, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to move these around a little bit. I'm going to move these. A little bit. So that they can all have their own room right now. I don't know what I want to do with this. I'm just going to sell that one. 
There we go. We'll buy a new bed if we need one. That way they can own have all have their own private room with a double bed in it for now. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what Guy does. Guy watches everybody else in the woohoo bed and then he goes to be alone for a while. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think there was. Was there a fence around the stairs? Was there even one there to begin with? <laughs> I don't know. Let's put one, though, before somebody gets hurt. <clears throat> Okay, I gotta find... Is there one that matches these stairs? I didn't even notice that, you guys. There's just a big old gaping hole. There we go. That matches. Okay, it won't go across. I think we have to go one back. That's weird. It's because the the stairs we used, I think. <clears throat> oh, well. It works. It doesn't matter that much. I don't like how this is not, like, centered up here. But, I don't know. Maybe we could put some more stuff up here if any of them want to. It has to be four, yeah. I don't think there was a fence around it, but there is now. He just needs to woo really bad, yeah. He does. <laughs> he can't be sharing a room. <laughs> Okay, so we have, they have all their separate rooms now. I'm gonna save, so we don't lose any of that wonderful progress that we made. <laughs> it was annoying for your eyes. Yeah, I understand that. You see something and then it just bothers you. Well, I think things are going very well for our fraternity boys here. They all have lovers at this point. So, I'm gonna put this on speed too. Guy is, well, he has not woohooed yet. But he does have a crush on Jasmine. And Jasmine is so cute. I really like her. And then Matthew, of course, is in love with Sarah. And we know that Jesse also has a crush on Matthew. But Matthew does not feel the same way about her. And then, of course, now Jesse has a crush also on Mickey, who she's sleeping with. And Mickey does not know about her crush on Matthew. So it sounds pretty much just like a real college situation here. <laughs> He's sleeping in the woohoo bed. Oh, wait. Who is... Oh, that's Matthew. I thought Guy was in that bed. <clears throat> and... Okay, visit campus. What is that? Wait, wait, wait. What does that mean? What does visit campus mean? Hold on. Wake up, Mickey. What are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you trying to visit... What is that? We're about to find out. Yeah, it wasn't Guy. It was Matthew. I don't understand what he's doing. Do you guys know what this means? Is visit campus? Oh, the pizza. Oh, that's right. He's going to get pizza. He's going to get pizza at 5 a.m. <laughs> that's right. I forgot that they would do that in the Greek, in the Greek house. I think I, I, there's a mod that stops them from doing that because it gets annoying. I never installed it because I like rarely ever play the Greek houses. But this is actually really fun. I like playing this house. Yep, I, that's what I thought, Christina. I thought there was a mod. <clears throat> I thought I saw a mod. And I was like, I don't need that because I rarely ever play the Greek houses. But now I'm like, I wish I had it. <laughs> okay, here he comes back with the pizza. Well, at least they'll they'll continuously have pizza to eat. I don't know. It's five, it's almost 6 a.m. Everybody's going to wake up now. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Why, they always eat the pizza in here. Do they not have a table? They do. Why do they bring it upstairs? Look what a mess it is in here. <laughs> Look at that. It's filthy. And they don't care. <laughs> I think it's free. I don't think it charged them anything. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, yes. He wants to get a skill point. And, okay. Let's lock that in. I, that, to me, that's more important. Well, I guess, no. Make the Dean's List is more important. 
What's happening? I hear people giggling. They're tickling each other. <laughs> I know if you could just get free pizza constantly. Okay, he wants to make toaster pastries. Let's go downstairs and make some toaster pastries. That sounds like a breakfast that they would totally have. Um, serve some toaster pastries. No kidding. I wish I could get free pizza on demand. All you have to do is take a walk like five minutes down the street. You got free pizza anytime you want it. He's going to go make some toaster pastries. And what is this? What is he going to do? He wants to go on another date. Mickey wants to go on another date. Of course. So I guess we can work on that for him. Because they don't have class until the afternoon. They do most of their partying in the morning. <laughs> and then they go to class. <laughs> So he's an art major now. He needs a logic skill and a charisma skill, which he has no desire to get. But he does want to make the Dean's List. So that means we can we can push him to get these skills. So let's have him get a little bit of charisma. What is he doing? Stop that. Work on your charisma. <laughs> um, practice speech. Practice romance. We should have him practice romance. Okay, Guy, what is your problem? Guy wants to gain a skill point, but he doesn't need anything, so we'll just let him do what he wants. Oh, he wants to appreciate Jasmine, so let's invite her over. Maybe we can give them a little bit more time to spend together. Let's call her over. And he can appreciate her and see where it leads, because I feel like he really needs to have a lady's touch, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get a lady over here. Stat. So he leaves his roommates alone. <clears throat> and what are you doing? You're practicing your charisma here. And then he wants... To, we need to send him on another date, too. Call Jasmine. Invite her over. And Matthew. It's always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over. So she's on her way. Let's really hope that guy can get some loving. <laughs> Mickey's gained a point of charisma skill. Good for you, Mickey. Let's get you off of that then. Because we know you don't want to do any more than you absolutely have to. So you don't have to work on that skill anymore. Um, but maybe a logic skill. Did they have a chess table? Is he playing in the bathtub? Of course. Oh, Jasmine's here. Jasmine's here. Let's go greet her. Um, greet Jasmine. Let's work on this situation for a minute. <laughs> hey, Josh! It is! Thank you for- thank you for showing up! Oh, okay. Thank you, Christina. Okay, so these two, what are they doing? Is she just going inside? Okay, I thought they were going to go woohoo. Darn it. He wants to appreciate Jasmine, so let's do that. <laughs> let's give her some appreciation. Tell her what a lovely girl she is. Just go straight for the back rub. Go for the back rub. <laughs> the stream is going well. So far, so good. Our fraternity boys are meeting the ladies, woohooing all over the place. Guy's woohooing with himself. <laughs> He's not her boyfriend? Is that what I said? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what you, if I said that or not. Okay, um... Learn couples counseling. No. Okay, well that's over with. Unless ACR takes over, he doesn't want to do anything else. Oh, wait, what's happening? Yes, they're gonna go woohoo! <laughs> yes, Marcus! She's dating Matthew. Who is? Who's dating Matthew? Jasmine? No. Uh, Matthew's dating Sarah. Okay, anyway. Uh, yes, Marcus. I will. This this one was only so late because I was out of town, but I plan on doing them about 1 o'clock. Like, four hours earlier than I did this one. So, yeah, I know it's really late tonight. I'm sorry about that. 
The other guy, not the pervert? <laughs> she, Jasmine's dating... Oh, Mickey? No. No, Jesse is with Mickey. Sarah is with Matthew. And Jasmine is with pervy guy. <laughs> no, you're thinking of, uh, you're thinking of Jesse. You're thinking of Jesse, Mary. Yeah, yeah, Marcus, they will definitely not be this late uh, all the time. Just, I had to do it today. And I didn't want to miss our first members only stream. So I was like, I'll just do it a little bit later. I know this, who can even keep up anymore? They're all just woohooing with everybody. But hey, I'm happy for Guy. Maybe he'll stop creeping on his roommates now that he got some actual love. Their bills are 666. They barely have enough to pay for that. He's still pervy, I know. <laughs> You're right about that, Mary. Oh, here they go. You know, I don't like this pixelation because we can't see... Like, I don't, I just want, I don't want them to be nude. I just want to, like, them to wear their pajamas or something. Because I don't like how the pixelation, we can't see anything. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't make her selectable, you guys. We forgot to make her selectable. So she didn't get a chance to get pregnant. We'll have to remember next time. I love those two, Josh. This is my favorite one right here. <laughs> I'm going to get some more of these made, too. Uh... At the end of this month, probably. Okay, so what are you doing, Matthew? He's gonna go up here and talk. He's like, hey, did you have a good time? Did you have a good time making out with Guy? She's like, yes, I did. Thank you. It was quite good. Thank you for inquiring. <laughs> this guy, Roll, get, Roll, Roll, I cannot say that. Roll, Roll? <laughs> I can't say that. Gregory. Let them be repossessed. The, the, uh... What's he called? What's the guy called? The repossessor? <laughs> what he's called. <laughs> they, they're enjoying this entertainment here. Okay, so you still want to make the Dean's List. You need some logic, Mickey. He doesn't want to go on a date anymore. Now he just wants to be best friends with Jessie. So I guess let's invite her over. So we can start trying to be best friends with her. Um, Let's call her over. Let's see what Matthew's doing. We haven't checked on him in a while. Oh, he went to get more pizza. Oh my god, no. You do not need any more pizza. They already have all these toaster pastries. And like this whole pizza up here. <laughs> the repo man. Oh my god. What is wrong with us? <laughs> the repo man <laughs> oh boy okay call uh jesse over <clears throat> let's invite her over and somebody she's coming over do something with this pi no actually leave that there and maybe they'll put the other pizza downstairs <laughs> yes i've got to get that mod that is so annoying you like the way I say pizza? <laughs> That's my, uh, probably my southern accent. Yeah, it is ridiculous. They keep, they keep going. She's got butt crack going too, you guys. Jasmine does. But I'm going to let her keep her butt crack hanging out because I think she looks like the kind of girl who would be wearing those low rise jeans. <laughs> Hey, Max. No, I don't think it gives notifications for the unlisted streams. So you just kind of have to, like, set a timer on it. Sorry. I I'll try to figure out a better way to notify members. But with the... <sighs> I haven't figured out a good way. I have to see what other people are doing. But I'm glad you could make it. <laughs> and we're having a good time here in the fraternity. Okay, wait. Somebody came over. Hold on. Hold on. Who- I keep getting all of their girlfriends mixed up. Okay, come and greet her. Come and He just brought another pizza in. But at least he brought it downstairs this time. Gotta show some skin, that's right. I think Jasmine would. Somebody answer the phone. Seriously. Okay, guys, going to end- It's like so hard to keep up with all of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. And then I didn't post. I didn't know if I should post it in Discord because, like, I didn't want to. If people weren't couldn't join and join us, I didn't want to be like, "Hey, guys, you're missing out on the stream." You know what I mean? So my advice would be for members is, whenever I post the link on the community tab, just set a reminder. And I don't know if it. Hopefully, it'll send you a notification. I, people are saying it didn't, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't I tried my best. Oh, Matthew's in there uh, on the bubble blower. Guys, we're gonna have to figure out something better for notifications. I, I'll, if you guys think of something, let me know, and I'll try to look into it and see what other people do uh, to notify their members. Because as far as I know, the only thing I can do is post on the community tab. But if you're not looking at your community tab, you won't see it. Okay, what's he going to do? He's going to hit on her. Guy likes to play with himself. That's all. <laughs> he does. He does. We caught Guy woohooing with himself. And that, I've never seen a sim do that before. Okay, he's going to squeeze her now. But now he's got himself a real life lady. <laughs> yes. I wish this was real, like what college was really like. You get, oh, you get notifications when I post something on the community tab, Marcus? Okay. If that's the case, then I could, po I could post a notification before we go live there. That would work. Well, I'll try that next time. And see if you guys get a notification for that. Thanks for bearing with me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm getting used to the channel memberships too. It's new for me. Okay, Matthew, jeez. Look at him. He's just going to town on this thing. I want to get a screenshot of him. This is your college life. This is what you do now. That would work? Okay, that's what I'll do, guys. Next time, right before I go live, I'll post uh, on the community tab that I'm going live. <laughs> You're feeling pretty great on your second glass of wine. And we'll see how that works next time. High on college life. <laughs> okay, I, I want to try to keep up with their schoolwork if I can. Okay, he's maxed out, so he can just do whatever he wants. This guy, he need, he still needs a cooking skill. Why don't you go in and watch cooking TV? Stop blowing bubbles. Watching cooking ought to be really fun now. Oh, is she leaving? Did you run her off? Did you run her off, Mickey, with your dad bod? <laughs> No, you just miss them woohooing like crazy. So we got our three fraternity brothers here. And so Guy here, he used to sit in the bedroom and watch the other guys woohoo. And then go and woohoo with himself. <laughs> and now he's got himself a lady here. In Jasmine. Jasmine Rye? Rowl? I can't read what that says. <laughs> I know it's so easy. They have hardly done any schoolwork. I think Guy did, like, one assignment, and everybody's passing. Oh, oh my god, they just fell in love, you guys! Oh, they just fell in love! So Guy fell in love with Jasmine. Oh, I'm so happy for them. She is not a sorority girl like the other two guys are dating. She's kind of a little bit edgier, but Guy likes her. Guy likes a bad girl because he's like a really super nice guy. And he likes his bad girl. <laughs> no, Max, we didn't. We just caught him in bed, nude, with a little relax thing on his on his uh, icon. He was in there wooing with himself. <laughs> like, yeah, it was crazy. We gave him his privacy. We walked away. <laughs> Oh no, what? Our house has been d downgraded. Oh, is it because we lost friends? Our house has been downgraded to level 2 because we lost friends, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hey, I wonder if somebody made a self woohoo mod, though. <laughs> somebody should. Oh, that sucks. We were a level 3 house and now we're level 2. What are we going to do? We got to make our friends back. Does anybody want to throw a party? Nope, he's going to class. He's going to class. And he's staying here, but he doesn't want to... He wants to make friends with his professors. Maybe we could do that and try to get some friends back. 
Um, let's see. Go call your professor. <laughs> it is, it is. It's a family friendly. It's family friendly. As long as you're an adult. I don't know. <laughs> okay, talk to your professor. Just talk to him. We don't want to invite him over. <laughs> I know, that would be hilarious. Well, yeah, they have been, like, hitting the keg really hard the whole entire time we've been playing them. <laughs> Getting memories. Oh, that would be hilarious, Marcus, if they made a memory, too, to go with it. Had very first woohoo with self. <laughs> Somebody needs to do that. You know, guys, I would love to learn how to mod. Oh, I, I really would. I wish I had the time to learn how to make mods. That would be really cool. Oh, thank you for cleaning up, guy. Maybe someday, someday I'll try and learn. And then the first thing I'll do is make a self woohoo mod. <laughs> She's just eating their pizza. It's family friendly on an adult level. That's absolutely right. That is absolutely it, Christina. Because I don't use any foul language on my channel or anything. At least I try not to. I don't think I do. <laughs> yes, one of them. Mickey is on academic probation. Okay, he's got 15 hours until his final exam. But if you see here, he's going to pass. He is going. He wants to get on the dean's list. So he's, he's really lazy, though. So it's been kind of hard. But he is going to pass and get off of academic probation. But he's still a freshman. Um, Guy is doing great over here. He's going to pass with an A+. Plus. And then Matthew, his performance is pretty good. It looks like he's probably going to get a B. So they're actually all doing pretty good. But they started out, like, with their meter already almost full. So we didn't have to try very hard this first semester. <laughs> I know, Max. I know. He will. Poor Anthony. <laughs> Poor Anthony. Although he's not going to have to resort to that to reproduce because I made him have five babies. <laughs> I'm going to put some of that into the blooper reel that I am making for you guys for next week. Um, <laughs> I had to record Anthony's numerous births. Oh my god, that would be so funny, Mary. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> put my voice on there, onto him. <laughs> That's true, Christina. It, it's not a kid's game. I mean, you have to be a teenager. I mean, I couldn't stop children from watching me, but I know that there aren't any little kids watching our members-only stream, at least. Until I put it on YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> but right now, we're safe. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> I wonder if you could do that. I wonder if it would be possible to, like... Put a different voice in. I don't even know if that's possible. It's better. It's better. I still have stitches from here to here. Um, in my jaw right here. I have stitches in my mouth from here to here. But it feels a lot better as long... I just have to take Advil like every six hours and I'm good. <laughs> it's a lot better. The first couple days were rough, but it's a lot better now. And I have, like, the self-dissolve, the sutures, they dissolve on their own, and they just drive me crazy. I'm like, hurry up and dissolve. Get out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I put my voice in. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mary, you couldn't. You couldn't give any of your students. You couldn't let them know. All right, let's see what's going on with our guys here. Um, you need to go to the bathroom. And there's still nothing we can do for him. Like, when is his exam? Oh, 13 hours. So they're all probably going to go to their exam tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and save right now because I don't want to lose anything that happened. So everybody's in love now, right? Except for Mickey. Mickey is not quite in love with the girl he's dating. Jesse, but hey, he wants to go on a date. And he wants to throw a toga party. You guys, let's throw a toga party. Okay, it's 7.30 at night. It'd be the perfect time we can get our uh, house back up to level three. Let's do toga party. Toga party. They know you make videos but can't find you. They never would be able to. 
That's good. Well, I don't know. If, maybe if they search. Do they know you make Sims 2 videos? Because they might be able to find you that way. <laughs> I know, Max. Yeah, Rad Scar. <laughs> A Christmas calendar! Oh my gosh, that would be. Oh, I'm gonna find out how to do that. I could, we could, I could totally make a Christmas calendar. Oh <laughs> yeah, Mary. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if one of them got uh, in a relationship. Did somebody bring another pizza in? I swear. Go throw a toga party and stop eating pizza. No wonder you've got the dad bod, Mickey. Yeah, Eva got involved with her professor. She sure did. Come on, Mickey, hurry up. I mean, every one of these people is going to be fat if they keep eating. Okay, all he knows, he only knows one dude and his professors. So he's just going to invite this one dude, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll teleport over some uh, other sorority sisters. Let's teleport over the sorority sisters. Let's see. Teleport. Everybody from the soror sorority house. DJ Verse, which is the cheesiest thing I've ever heard of. Um, Monica Bradford. And... Sarah Love. Okay. And he's gonna invite this gunner, dude. And we're gonna have ourselves a toga party! Fat-free pizza, yeah! The 12 days of Anthony. <laughs> oh my god, I have to do that, you guys. I gotta figure out how to do that. <laughs> she is a mess, Mary. Oh my gosh. I, she's fun to play, though. She is really fun to play. <laughs> Cheesiest. <laughs> I do. I like that. I like that, Christina. Glass two of wine. Oh, I'm so jealous. I should have made Mr. Pleasant go get me some wine. Oh, here they come. Look. this He's the only one in a toga. <laughs> he's the only one in a toga. He and Mickey. Guys, change into your toga. What the heck? It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. We gotta do that. Oh, they're changing into their toga. Come on, guys. Toga time. All right. You know what? Do they even have a stereo in here? They would totally have a stereo in their party room. Don't you guys think? Oh, but they don't have enough money for one. So they're having a toga party right the night before exams. So their exams are all tomorrow in like 10, 11 hours. And they're like, you know what? Let's have a toga party. <laughs> yeah, you're having your own college party. <laughs> Well, let's just wa- Oh! Somebody just got goosed! <laughs> and she's thinking that Mickey's hot? Oh my god, you guys. I think they should be over in the party room, though. I don't know what they're all doing in here. Mickey, you're starting to get stinky. Oh, he's got a stink cloud going on. Play red hands. This guy's just standing here. I don't know what they're doing. This doesn't look fun at all. Oh! Oh, Goose. I thought he was gonna go relax and woohoo with her again. We gotta watch if anybody woohoos so we can make the girl selectable. Yes! Great work at building those household friendships. At level 3, your Greek house's campus name, blah blah blah. We got to level 3. Again. We got back up to level 3. So I guess we have to keep throwing parties. Hey, Maeve! Welcome! I never feel like I'm saying your name right, but I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> Sounds like you in high school having a party before an exam, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Maeve. That's what everybody's been saying. It's been hard to get here. So we're trying to figure out a, a better way to notify you. It's never too early for the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. And next time what I'm going to do for our next stream is I'm going to post on the community tab like a few minutes before I go live and see if you guys will get a notification from that. So I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's it was my first time doing it, doing it this way, and I even told Mr. Pleasant I was like, I hope everybody's gonna be able to find the stream okay. I was worried about that. Yay! I said it right. I said I know I'm saying it right, but I don't feel like I'm saying it right. <laughs> 
Well, our fraternity brothers here, we're playing our three fraternity brothers, and they are just partying and woohooing like crazy. So that's pretty much it. And then, so they're having a toga party, and these guys are just going to come over and study now? What in the heck? Did he go get another pizza? I swear. He went and got another pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. So yeah, guys, we're I'm going to uh, I'm going to try something else next time to get a notification out to you right before it starts because I was hoping that it would notify you, but I guess it won't for the unlisted streams. And maybe we'll just have to figure out some way to get a special Discord channel for members, even if I have to just manage it myself. That way I can let you guys know in there. So let me work on that. We'll get better at this. Okay, Josh. Like, remind- I wish it would let me do reminder text, but I don't know of any way it would let me do that. Hey, Sarah! I'm so glad you're here! Oh, I'm so sorry that it was- that it worked out like this. If they bring one more pizza in here, I am going to scream. Look at all these pizzas everywhere! <laughs> Yeah, yours is one of the easier ones. I'm going to try what Marcus suggested, and I'm going to try to post. Do all of you guys get a notification when I post something on the community tab? Do you get notified? Because if you do, then that would work. Okay, we got to wake Mickey up. He is stinky and sleeping on the couch and ruining the party. Get up here and take a bath and go to sleep, I guess. You got to get ready for your exam. You do? You do? Okay. Okay, guys. Good. Oh my god, is there another pizza? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I've got to get that mod. <laughs> to stop this insanity with the pizza. There's pizza on every surface. You don't, Maeve? You don't get one? Hmm... Okay, guys, let me... Well, I'm still going to do that anyway for those of you that do get the notification. You may... Do you... Do you make... Do you have notifications turned on for my channel? You may have to have notifications turned on for my channel. Okay. Well, I'm going to try that, and then I'm also going to try to set up something in the Discord where I can ping you, okay? So let me work on that. You get emails too? Okay. Um, I was asking if everybody got notifications whenever I post on the community tab. That may be it. Make sure you have notifications on for my channel. And, uh, unless you don't want notifications for my channel, and that's totally cool. I get that too. <laughs> I'll try to set up something else too. But we'll get, we'll get it guys. We'll get it better. I'm sorry about that. Okay, you need to go to sleep. No, go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh my god. I was worried that was gonna happen. And, okay, what are you doing? You go to bed. This guy needs to leave. They gotta get ready for their exams tomorrow. <laughs> you get it when I post videos? But not post? Hmm. You may have to turn on all notifications. But I'll try to figure something else out, too. Um, so, because some people might not want all notifications, and that's cool, too. I get that, too. I will look into it, and I'll try to see what other uh, YouTubers do. Maybe somebody's come up with a solution. Okay, everybody's going to bed. They had a toga party, sort of. Oh my gosh, they've got five hours until their exams. So let's save again. Everything's going pretty well for the guys. They're constantly partying. Um, nobody woohooed today, though. I was surprised by that. I thought surely with all the girls over here that they were going to woohoo. You got one two days ago? I think that's when I posted it. I didn't post anything today because I just assumed that you guys would get notifications. But I was wrong. 
I know. Don't you wish you could just show up to an exam and be like, I did all my schoolwork. I am passing this test. <laughs> yeah. They never studied at all. And it's like guaranteed. They're passed. They passed the grade. <laughs> uh, well, Maeve, I don't have uh, your emails. It doesn't. YouTube doesn't give me your email when you become a member. They, they try to keep all of your information private. They just give me your name only. And only your YouTube name, not even your real name. Like, if you didn't use your real name, I wouldn't know what it was. Okay, so if you got the notification like two days ago when I posted, then you're getting the notifications. Okay, ooh, they gotta get up and go to class right now. You can get emails, uh, Mary, you can get emails from YouTube, but, like, I can't send out an email. I couldn't send out an email reminder, but YouTube can email you to notify you when I post something, if that makes sense. Because YouTube has your email, but I don't. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> uh, well, Marcus, I don't use Facebook. But I will probably ask on Reddit, because I use Reddit, and I'm in the uh, YouTube YouTuber subreddit, so I'll probably ask over there. We'll figure it out, guys. I We will. You do get emails when I post videos. I know. I wish Uni was like this in real life, too. That's right, Mary. I know. <laughs> Okay, yay! All right, everybody. Okay, hold on. Let's pause. Okay, so I have to organize everybody's money here, and I was not prepared for this. Let me see here. So, Mickey got a B. Good for you, Mickey. That's really good for him. I mean, I'm surprised he got a B. He has 700 simoleons. Okay, Guy got uh, 1,200. Because we're about to give everybody bank accounts. And Matthew... Also got to be with 700. So let me write this down and let's go divide up everybody's money. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and all right. Let's go. Let's go. Where's the computer? Upstairs. You go. We'll start with Mickey. We're going to do a. Oh, this isn't a hacked computer. We got to sell this thing and get a hacked computer. I hope they have enough. They're not going to have enough to pay their bills. They're all going to have to chip in a little bit. Or just get something repossessed, which is probably what they would do. So let's just buy the cheapest little computer. We'll buy them this little laptop here. And then, no. Come and bank online. Because I think they had like 700 And then they sold that for 5 Deposit your 700 simoleons, please. This is what I do every time whenever I play. Did you just bring a pizza? You get back here! Did he just... You... No, no! Oh my god, he was going to get another pizza! <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm not doing the bills. I'm not worried about the bills. <laughs> Let's start a bank account instead of pizza. <laughs> That's right! These sims are responsible. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay let's do this so the first thing I do after every semester when I play university is I have my sims go and put their money in their bank account because I want them to be able to take that with them when they move back to the neighborhood um, and I want them to have the amount that they earned and this is all the money that they get because I don't I use no 20k handout okay who's going to campus I know you guys are trying to sneak to the camp. You get back here! <laughs> They're just constantly going for pizza. That is so annoying. Oh my god. I know. What are they trying to do here? <laughs> get up here and deposit your money. Oh. So he got 700 as well. Deposit. Deposit. You get out of here. You go over here. And let's go take care of his needs. And he wants to go on a date. So I want to send him on another date too. 
And then you're doing that, and what are you doing? Oh, of course, there's a pizza. There's a pizza outside on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, man. What is, oh. He's just gonna eat sidewalk pizza. That's what he's gonna do. Yes, he did, Mary. Pervy guy. He's actually, like, really smart. Okay, what are you doing? Deposit that money. And then deposit... He just had a hard time getting a girl, that's all. <laughs> Pizza is the main priority. That's what we found out here. Yes. Yes. Okay, now, um... Guy... Oh, look, Guy wants to have two best friends and throw a sports party. Wow, he has maxed out his relationship with Jasmine. He wants another best friend. Maybe we should have him work on his relationship with Mickey. But he needs to deposit his money. So deposit... He got 1,200 simoleons. Why don't you come down here and eat some of this pizza? Eat some of this sidewalk pizza. <laughs> Oh my god. And let's watch a guy come up and try to put his money in. And then we'll see what we can do with him for the rest of the day. Yes, pizza is filling the hole left behind by Nobu. <laughs> How did you survive college? Pizza. <laughs> you All you eat it at uni is pizza. <laughs> They probably they must be sponsoring them. I swear, sidewalk pizza and ramen. Oh my gosh, I can't believe one of them's cleaning up. Michael's cleaning up. Michael Matthew's cleaning up. He wants to be friends with Jesse. He doesn't know that Jesse likes him either. Okay, go and use the bathroom. And what is your deal, guy? What are you talking about? Get up here and deposit your money. What is wrong with you? I hate how long it takes for me to have them all, especially if you have a bunch of college students, like if you have six or eight of them and you have to get them all to deposit their money, it's it can be tough. You gotta get multiple computers, but these guys can't afford multiple computers. Hot plate mac and cheese! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, and so yeah, they have no money left, so they can't pay their bills. <laughs> Oh, well, they're gonna get something repoed. Pot noodles? Oh, that's what they call ramen in the UK. Pot noodles? That makes sense. <laughs> now, let's see what everybody wants to do. And let's check this out. Okay, he needs, like, a lot. I don't... Ooh. He might not make it through this semester. Guy might not make it. Because he needs, like, at least one more skill point just to be able to pass. And he has no desire for skill points. He just wants to throw a sports party, which we're going to let him do. So let's go throw another party. Uh, throw party, sports party. While he's doing that, let's check on uh, Matthew out here. Matthew, Matthew still wants to make the Dean's List. So he needs to work on his mechanical and his creativity. Oh, they have a grill back here. I didn't even see that. We'll have him go and study mechanical. We'll invite Jesse, Francis, and Sarah. That's fine. Go and study your mechanical. And then... He also... Mickey... Also want He wants to go on a date and he wants to make the Dean's List. Oh boy, he needs a lot of skills to make the Dean's List. He needs two cooking, two mechanical. So let's... What is this guy doing? Oh... He's dancing. I didn't even know they had a stereo. <laughs> Sell the grill to pay the bills. Yeah, we totally could do that. But I think I'd rather have them get some, have something repossessed. Okay, here come the party guests. Okay, what's happening? Oh, he's gonna go woohoo as soon as Jesse got here. Okay, let's make her selectable. Let's wait. Come here, control Jesse, just in case. She's a psychology major. I don't want to look at her too much because I want to wait until we play her. No! Level 2 again? Why? Why do we keep falling down to level 2? Probably because Matthew's in here studying 
And Guy's in here just dancing away while his guest- You're the one who wanted to throw the sports party. Turn sports on. <laughs> guy, this is your chance. Run upstairs, Guy. <laughs> the pot shop, they sold pottery. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> guy? Oh, I didn't even have him selected. Oh, they're already it's already too late. It's too late. He missed it. <laughs> you need to talk to your guest. You wanted to throw a party. Look, he wants to influence some Okay, let's do this. He wants to influence people to do stuff. Let's influence someone to play, dance with someone, influence someone to talk. Those suck. I like it when they want to like influence someone to do their assignment or clean or something. Let's influence him to where's influence where is it influence to talk to jesse i don't care whatever <laughs> he's got cameras <laughs> oh Maeve, that's anthony <laughs> Anthony is a sim that we created in one of my very first live streams that I ever did on the channel when we were trying to create a neighborhood and I sucked really bad at it. And he is a sim that we randomly created and he was so hideous and so ugly <laughs> that we've just sort of like, we used him in our poverty challenge and now I just use him to like do all kinds of experiments on and stuff. So he's just like, he was famous on my channel because he was so hideous and so sad. And so if you go look at my playlist and you watch the poverty challenge that we did in live streams, um, you'll see all of Anthony's very sad, very sad life. <laughs> He's the butt of our, all of our jokes. <laughs> He's way too pervy to be throwing parties, I know. <laughs> yeah, so if you really want to know about... Uh, Anthony, watch the poverty challenge. <laughs> okay, and what's happening? What's happening? Let's uh, let's stop controlling her first of all. I do not want to control her. Yeah, he had a family. Yes, he did. Now he's a teenager again. Now I put him back in my tutorial town, and I'm just doing experiments on him over there. <laughs> An Anthony training video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going to get Sandy icons for sure. That's the next one I'm going to get. Is Sandy. And I don't know who he's waiting for. Is he going to. He's woohooing with himself too. <laughs> he's going to woohoo with himself. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What What is even happening here? What? Stop it. Work on your skills. Stop. What? No. Study mechanical. It's hard. University is hard to keep up with, like, more than two sims, in my opinion. To try to keep everybody on track, doing their uh, schoolwork and their wants and everything, it's hard. I think we're going to have some fail outs, too. He was waiting for her, then she left. Gaze upon the gorgeous face of Anthony. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Oh, and you guys, in the blooper video, I put pictures. I'm going to put pictures of Anthony's babies. Like, I aged them up so I could see what they look like. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys pictures of a half alien, half Anthony baby. Okay? Half alien, half Anthony toddler. It's funny. <laughs> He tried to be sexy and it didn't work. He's like, hey, baby. And she's like, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, he got his mechanical skill. Something happened here. Oh, was he supposed to go to class? Did I just cancel him going to class? Oops. Go to class. Can he not go to class? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> It's actually not as bad as you would think. It's not as bad as you would think. You did not miss a video, Max. I made a blog post about the Tombstone of Life and Death, and I tried out every feature on the Tombstone of Life and Death. I tried it out on Anthony, and he ended up having, like, five babies. 
Like, he had one with a Grim Reaper. He had two alien babies. He had a clone of himself. <laughs> so, anyway, while I was make taking the screenshots for the blog post, I decided I was going to record some of the births and stuff to put, put into the blooper reel for you guys. So, I'm, the blooper reel is going to be ready next week, and I'm going to add that in there. <laughs> I have no idea why the party was a good time. <laughs> it should be right on the first page of Pleasant Sims. Oh, it is a good time. Where I don't even know where anybody even is. Are you trying to go get... Oh, he just got back. There's still sidewalk pizza. Eat that. Eat that sidewalk. Okay, he was already going for it. That's so gross. This cheese pe cheese and pepperoni pizza has just been rotting out there. Just been rotting out there on the sidewalk. And they just walk up from class. They're like, hey, free pizza. <laughs> they grab it. <laughs> I don't know where the new pizza is. Did somebody bring it upstairs? Nope. All I see is old pizza. Okay, so he's going to eat his pizza. These two are at class. What's her name is still here, Jesse. He wants to be friends with her. And he wants to have two friends, so maybe we'll have him go and befriend her. Who knows? Maybe they'll start a love triangle in here. So eat your pizza and then we'll have him go talk to Jesse. <laughs> yeah, it's good for that. That's a good use for it. <laughs> Max. That's how they sponsor. They just leave the pizza outside. Yeah, I have no idea how this party is a good time. I have no idea how anybody could have be having a good time right now. Alright, come on. Let's go talk to Jesse. Go just chat with her. He just wants to be friends with her. Bill reminder. Well, the bills are not going to get paid. <laughs> I don't know why they have that walk. It's just like the slouchy... Okay, she's leaving. She doesn't want to be your friend, pervy. <laughs> Oh, look! Guy is gaining some fame? What just happened? Oh, he had a good party. He had a good party. That's what. He's still trying to chat with her. Okay, and now he wants to throw another party. But I don't think you can throw a party. You're here all by yourself and you need to take a bath, Stinky. He's gonna go take a bath. <laughs> I know! I hate this pizza thing. I hate the pizza thing. The walk doesn't bother me, but the pizza thing really bothers me. <laughs> I know, I do the same thing, Mary. Like, sometimes I'll be like, hmm, maybe it would be fun just to even do something like an asylum challenge, right? But then I can't bring myself to do it because I love my Sims or like my children and I don't want them to hurt and I don't want them to anything bad to happen to them. <laughs> Yeah, he's famous for his weird fetish. Everybody's like, watch out when you go over to the fraternity house because there's this dude over there and he will totally creep on you while you're trying to woo. <laughs> Your famous seasons. I love seasons. I, I can never choose a favorite. Every time somebody asks me, every time I think of an expansion, I'm like, oh, I like that one. Oh, but I like that one more. I can't choose. I just literally can't. Well, you know what? Bon Voyage is probably my least favorite. I will say that. Even though I love it, it's still probably my least favorite. Because I, like, rarely send my Sims on vacation. Because there's only three vacation locations. So it gets kind of boring after you've done them all a couple times, you know? And I wish... I just wish there were, like, more destinations for them. I don't know. I love Open for Business. <laughs> You get bored and destroy the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crazy about the whole reputation thing. Yeah, see, I love seasons. I love open for business. I personally love free time. I love the hobbies. I think that really added something really cool to the game. We gotta check on our sims. I don't know what's... Who even... Is there's somebody here? There's a cheerleader here? Hey, guy, there's a cheerleader here for you to creep on. Natasha... He has no wants for her. He can do whatever he wants now. Uh, Matthew is here. You hate pets? Oh, I like pets. I do like pets. I like apartment life, too. Oh! Look! Guy likes arts and crafts! 
Hmm, that's good to know. So we gotta take care of Matthew, and Matthew still wants to get on the Dean's list, and he needs a creativity skill point. So we can have him write in his uh, diary. Maybe they can take a break from partying for a night and like actually work on some schoolwork. Yeah, pet. I like really like pets. I love nightlife too and university. I love all of them. I love all the expansions for The Sims 2 are good. Uh, but like I said, Bon Voyage is my least favorite. Even though I still do like it. Um, it is possible in The Sims 4, um, but it's not nearly as good as The Sims 2. Like, I, I haven't ever actually done it, but I've just heard people complain about it. In The Sims 3, I'm not really sure. Nightlife if you're, is your fave. <laughs> Free time was your least favorite for a while because all the hobbies were annoying or had the same benefits. That would be cool if you could make your own hobby lot. Yeah. Oh, look, Mickey's gaining some fame around town. Oh, he's out here talking to this cheerleader. And he wants to go on a date. Oh, I wonder if he could ask her out. He's gonna chat with her. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Because he wants to go on a date and he's chatting with... Oh, she does not like what he has to say. Except for Anthony, Sarah. That's right. <laughs> Except for Anthony. <laughs> Sims 3, it was store content? Oh. I like the nightlife houses, too. Okay, I don't know. How's this? How's it? Oh, he's giving her a hug. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I can't see. I gotta, I gotta move over here. You, you bought the full collection for Sims 3, played it for three hour, five hours, and went straight back to Sims 2. <laughs> I, I love Sims 2 so much, but sometimes I do get the itch to, like, play Sims 3 again. And I have- I've been feeling like that for a couple weeks and I haven't gotten around to doing it. You still play Sims 2 with the disc? I love that. Okay, well that didn't go very far. I thought he was gonna, like, try and chat her up, but instead he's gonna clean up this rotting pizza on the side of the house. So let me check on my other guys here. You need, you need to go to bed, dude. You just need to go to bed. He's admiring this. He's admiring him. I play it through the Ultimate Collection. Um, because I got it for free back in, like, 2014. What are they doing? School cheer. Okay, no, you just, just go to bed, guy. Just go to bed. And you also need to go to bed. And we'll try again tomorrow to work on you, your guys' schoolwork some more. And you need to take a bath and go to bed. You're not going on a date tonight, buddy. Oh, I gotta watch that. I can't watch it now, but I will. You hated university until you played it the way I do? Yeah. Because you always made your sims hit the dean's list every time, and it gets boring. It gets boring. I like it doing it this way, because sometimes people fail out, and you never know who's gonna make it and who's not, and it's always so surprising. <laughs> I know. I wish I still had all my Sims 2 discs. I got rid of them. When I got the Ultimate Collection, I got rid of all my discs. And I wish I wouldn't have. I used to have the, all the discs. Not, no, not all of them. I don't think I had Bon Voyage or Apartment Life. Aw, thanks, Mary. I know. I like having the discs. I still have a disc. Let me see. Look, check this out. I still have my Sims, uh, SimCity 4 disc. This thing is... God, I don't even know how old. It's old. <laughs> this is old. And I still have... Like, you can barely even read the... Uh, the code that you have to put in. <laughs> you can barely even read it anymore. But I have this on Origin, but I still keep the disc because I love it. And I have my... Uh, I have my castaway stories back there, too. <laughs> I know! They're like, they're gonna, they're antiques. Alright, what do you, this is really weird, Mickey. Mickey is sitting in here in Matthew's bedroom at night while Matthew sleeps, mm. eating pizza in the dark. 
That is so weird. Oh, what is that? Did he just fart too? He just farted. Your mom is baffled about Sims, really? I love Sim City 4 too. <laughs> you have that one too? Yeah, I know. He brought a freaking another pizza in. I have tried City Skylines and I really like it too. Although, honestly, I still like SimCity 4 better, but City Skylines is really good. I, I own it um, on Steam. You try to you recreated every apartment and character in this video. Oh, what video is it? I can't click on it now. He binges at night. He does. He goes on pizza binges at night after everybody goes to sleep. <laughs> Oh, you have your Sims 1 discs? Oh, I wish I still had my Sims 1 discs. We he needs to really go to bed. Oops. I did. I did play The Sims 1 for just a really short time because when I found The Sims 1, The Sims 2 had already been out. And so I I bought The Sims 1 disc at a Goodwill for $3. I'll never forget it. I brought, I was like, hmm, this looks kind of fun. Because I, I always love simulation games. So I was like, oh, The Sims, this looks fun. So I brought it home and I played it all night long. I stayed up all night long playing it. And I loved it so much. And then it was like really close to Christmas. I think it was Christmas. It could have been my birthday. It was a gift giving holiday. And then so like just a couple weeks later, then Mr. Pleasant bought me uh, The Sims 2 Double Deluxe. And I never went back. <laughs> I never went back. <laughs> I have the complete, I do have the complete collection of The Sims 1 now, though, too. It's a video for Apartments by Katy Perry. Oh. Hmm. You started with Sims Town? <laughs> I like playing The Sims 1, actually. I loaded it up the other day and played it a little bit. Just because I felt like it. And it's so, I love, it's so charming. You know, it is so charming. I should play it on the channel sometime. I think I will. You got double deluxe for Christmas too? Yeah, Mary, put them in Discord. Yes, I'll watch them after the stream. Okay, don't you dare go get pizza. Don't you dare. <gasps> Look, he wants to get a skill, you guys. Maybe he won't flunk out. Okay, we've got 28 hours until final exam, and he wants to get a skill point. Let's have him get some more charisma. Get up here and you practice your charisma. If he gets one more skill point, he could he can pass. So we're not going to have a fail out. Um, he's not going to fail out and he... Ooh. Mickey might fail out. We need to work on Mickey. We got to work on Mickey when he wakes up. You're watching a new episode of All That? <laughs> You didn't miss too much, really. Just more more partying, more woohoos. More pizza. <laughs> We're trying to keep the boys from failing out of college, and it looks like everybody might make it through this semester. I know, I know. I didn't think he was going to make it, but I think he will now. Possibly. And Matthew's going to wake up and eat some of the old pizza. I mean, I'm surprised all these guys don't weigh like 300 pounds. Because they're just eating pizza nonstop and doing no exercise whatsoever. <laughs> it is easier to get through. I mean, it is for me, Zinnia. I mean, it may not be for everybody, but I like it. And then sometimes your sims flunk out and that's the life they chose for themselves. Mickey's the guy that does his work last minute and crams the night before. Yes, he is. He is that guy. <laughs> Alright, come on. Hurry up and do this. Okay, there we go. Hey, their, their bills are still due and nobody has come. Oh, he wants to go to class. I'll lock that in for him. He wants to influence someone to clean. Let's go do that. Oh my gosh, Matthew. Look at you. You're turning into a bubble head. <laughs> <laughs> the freshman 300. <laughs> do, do you hear him giggle? <laughs> okay, let's influence him to... Come here. Come here, you. Influence to clean. 
Was he going to get pizza again? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a lot of sodium. They're gonna be puffy. <laughs> They're gonna be really puffy. <laughs> I know, I like the bubble blower. The youngest of six kids was a family sim who was gonna flunk until he fell in love with and married his professor and had quadruplets. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so he made Matthew clean. He's like, hey, dude, you think you could clean up in here? It's pretty freaking gross. Look at all these solo party cups. Oh, he's going to eat pizza. I thought he was going to get pizza. Alright, let's check on Matthew. He still also still wants to get on the Dean's List. And he needs a creativity skill. So we were going to have him go uh, write in his diary for creativity after he finishes cleaning. And then Guy is eating pizza. That's fine. And, okay, Mickey. We gotta work on you, Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. Okay, I better shush. I'm gonna get a copyright if I start singing songs. <laughs> you're so fine. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. I can't help myself. Have you guys ever seen the uh, video to that? Oh, man, that is corny. Mr. Perv, A plus students going downhill in his study. <laughs> Okay, I thought he was going to take a bath, but since he's just going to play around. You've been singing that every time I say it, Mindy. <laughs> okay. He needs cooking, mechanical, and creativity. Let's just go watch the cooking channel, dude. You love the cooking channel. I, I hate watching cooking shows because it makes me hungry. It makes me want to eat. I can't. I don't like it. Um, you know what show is really good is the... I love the Great British Bake Off. Do you got any of you guys watch that? I love that show. But it makes me want to eat cakes. Okay? So I have to eat... I have to watch it like... Right before I eat dinner or something. <laughs> he plays with himself in the bathtub. He does. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean, Steven? They do. They do. So, what happens is whenever you first start out, uh, they, the mod doesn't take effect on sims that were already, uh, that were already in school. The mod doesn't work on the sims that were already in school, if that makes sense. I know, I wish it was the same effect when I watch sports. I wish. I wish I could watch sports and be like, I want to go exercise. But no. <laughs> You're binge watching it right now. I know, it makes you just so, it makes me want to eat all those delicious sweets they have. Okay, you are not watching cooking. I told you to watch cooking. Watch the Yummy Channel. Instead of Gnome Army or whatever you were watching. Oh, they got rid of Mary Berry? What? I loved Mary Berry. <laughs> I did love that they had uh, Noel Felding on there, though, because I love him. I love Noel Felding. I don't know how I would like him in The Great British Bake Off, but I haven't actually watched that show since he became host on there. You've watched every season? I love the early seasons. The first couple seasons are really good. It's too much for you, Mary. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so they're getting some cooking skill here. What are you doing? Is he still cleaning? He is still cleaning up the house. I'm gonna let him keep going. Let him keep doing it. Certainly not gonna hurt anything. All this dude wants to do is be friends with his professor, which is really weird. <laughs> it's the same old lady catching herself on fire all day on the Yummy Channel. <laughs> I love Gordon Ramsay. I like him. Um, I didn't like that show. What was that show that he did? You know, the famous one. <laughs> Not the Kitchen Nightmares, but the other one where the chefs were competing with each other. What the heck was it called? I don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> Mary quit because BBC lost it to Channel 4, so she and Mel and Sue quit the show. Aww. They were what made the show so good. I haven't watched it since then. Yeah, Matthew's available to talk, I guess. That's weird. Look who's calling for Matthew. 
Um, who was that? Jesse just called for Matthew. And he's like, sorry, dude, that's your girlfriend, but she's calling for Matthew. <laughs> Too bad. Master Chef. Master Chef. So I didn't like Master Chef because it was so nasty and negative. Like they just pitted these people against each other, and the way they edited it just to make everybody like seem like they're fighting with each other. I hated the negativity of it. I like the idea of the show. So the, right about the time when I tried to watch that, that's when I started watching the Great British Baking Show. And they, I loved how nice everybody was and how respectful they were and how helpful they were to each other. Even though it was a competition, I can't stand the American reality show where everybody's just talking crap about each other and they're so mean to each other. I hate that. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> the UK version is boring. I'd probably like the UK version. What are you doing, Mickey? You're supposed to be working on your skills. Okay. He did not get the he did not get the skills. He didn't get the skills he needs. He's just gonna start drinking. He might actually flunk out, to be honest, because he's not even getting one skill. Really? UK version is chill but boring, yeah. It probably just make me hungry. You know what I like is uh, Iron Chef. The old Iron Chef. Those are good. Did you guys ever watch those? Not the American ones, the Japanese ones. Alright, Mickey got a skill point, you guys. He still needs another one, though. Maybe just sitting there watching TV, he can get another one. You like watching game shows? Okay, let's see what's going on here. Uh-oh, guy's in the bathtub again. All he wants to do is go to class and make friends. He wants to be friends with Jesse. I was trying to make that happen for him. And he needs to get something to eat. Oh, clean this up. I'm forcing you to clean up. It's gross. You've never seen him so chilled out. All you watch now is The Office Parks and Rec. Oh my gosh, Mary. You have to watch. Have you watched The Good Place? On, I think it's on Netflix. It might be Hulu. I get them mixed up. I don't know what's on what. But uh, it is so good. You, I know you would like it. If you like Parks and Rec and stuff, you would really like it. I've never stopped watching Friends. <laughs> Your favorite YouTube cooking channels are all Japanese. You gotta watch it, Mary. It's called The Good Place. And I, it's either on Netflix or Hulu. I can't remember which one. But it's got uh, Kristen Bell in it. It is so good. It's got a lot of the same kind of humor that we I know that you and I share uh, with The Office and Parks and Rec and stuff. I think you would really like it. Parks and Rec is my favorite show, too. And it's got... The Good Place has a couple of, like, Easter eggs that, like, nod to... I think it's The Good Place that does to Parks and Rec. Anyway, you gotta watch it. It's on both now, Max. Oh, do you like it? It's so good. I'm I'm just about to finish season one. Me and Mr. Pleasant have been watching it. We really like that. We really like it. Oh, June's Kitchen? Yeah. Well, I, wa I watch Rachel and June because I find it very interesting. Because uh, me and my husband want to go to Japan. So I find it very interesting to hear uh, their stories and stuff. Are you going to get pizza? No, he's getting mail. The professor's here. Okay, who wants to be friends with this professor? Nobody. No, I haven't, Max. I think I'm about to watch the last episode. I think I'm about... I think we're like on episode 8 or 9 or something like that. Oh, you're gonna love The Good Place, Mary. If you get a chance to watch it, let me know. I know you're gonna love it. Okay, so we gotta go back in here and do something. He needs to... Is there any pizza anywhere he can eat? No. Now I, now we need pizza and they don't have any pizza. So just eat some leftovers, I guess. You need to eat some leftovers. I gotta take care of these boys. I've been ignoring them. <laughs> we gotta take care of them. And what is Mickey doing? Is he gonna get a skill point? He just keeps drinking. Mickey. You've got to get it together or you are going to flunk out of college. I guess that we could just move him back to Strange Town. Go and watch this. I know, they can't pay the bills. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so change it to... Okay, you're still watching the Yummy channel. I really want him to get another skill point, but he may not. He's got 19 hours to get one more skill point, so come on. Uh, these guys are just having a sandwich over here. And what can we do to get him on the Dean's list? Creativity skill. So one, And he was... That's right, he was talking on the phone to Mickey's girlfriend. Um, and they became friends. Check it out. They became friends. I hope nothing happens between them because she does have a crush on him. If she comes back over here, it would be really bad if, like, they started making out or flirting or something in front of poor old Mickey. <laughs> College life is hard. Yeah. Yeah, basically, they're spending all their money on pizza and, and drinks. And whatever you put in the bubble blower. <laughs> Chinese food makes you sick. I just don't really care for Chinese food that much. At least not the Americanized kind. I don't know if I would like real Chinese food, but the kind we have around here, I don't like. Because it's all just like covered in this sweet sauce. I don't know. Okay, so Guy needs to go to class. Guy, get yourself to class. And he wants to go to class. I'm happy about that. Um, you don't even get to finish your sandwich. You gotta go. And then we need to have you work on your creativity. Study creativity. Or not study creativity. Write in your diary. What am I saying? I have a mod where they can get... Somebody asked me, like, I didn't know that they could get creativity from writing in their diary. Well, they normally can't. But I have a mod where they can. By the way, I updated my mods list today on the blog. If anybody's interested, I added, so I added some more mods that people have been uh, telling me about and I downloaded. In the Discord, and then I also added some mods that I've been using, and I just haven't had a chance to update it. Okay, what are you doing, Mickey? He's going to take a bath. Okay, I approve. You may take a bath. <laughs> you like any kind of food? <laughs> I like almost any kind of food, but you know what I don't like? I don't like pasta. And uh, my husband thinks I'm so weird because he loves pasta, and I hate. I don't like pasta. I don't like spaghetti. I guess mac and cheese is okay. Crap! Our house just got downgraded. We gotta have another party. We gotta totally have another party. I'm gonna save. Oh, yeah. There, it does shoot up film and literature, too. Yep, you're right. New York Chinese food is much better than Chinese food you've had in other places. Really? That's interesting. Hey, Josh, welcome back. Okay, so he's working on that. Um, let's check on Mickey's taking a bath. And then... Oh, he still didn't get that cooking point, you guys. I'm really worried that Mickey's going to fail out on us. He's just lounging around, taking a bath. Ah, <laughs> uh, Maeve, no. It doesn't slow down your PC and you do not get viruses. Using mods is very safe. Um, as long as you download them from... Like, if you download them from Mod The Sims, you're going to have no problem at all. Pasta is life. <laughs> you can eat pasta every day, but it makes you fat. <laughs> Mary, did you say yes? <laughs> He's enjoying himself, yeah. But he needs to go get something to eat and work on his skills. He's never going to get on the Dean's list. He wants to get on the Dean's list, but he he's not doing anything to make that happen. All right, I think there's one last sandwich he can have. So I guess the next time somebody wants to go out and get pizza, I'll let them go because they are all out of pizza. Okay, Matthew, you got to go to class now, buddy. Um, oh, he's good. He got the skill he needed. So he's good. I don't know if I like nochi because I've never had it made well. I've only had it like really bad. <laughs> really bad nochi. I hope I'm saying that right. I might not have been saying that word right. I know. I, I couldn't even imagine. I thought about it might be fun to like just play a vanilla game with no mods in it and see how it went. Because I haven't played without mods in, since I, like, the first time I ever played. <laughs> it was your least favorite in Italy? Wow. Alright, so... Mickey's the only thing we've got here. Let's hurry up and let him eat. 
And you have got to go watch the cooking channel, Mickey White. He just can't sit still. Watch it. Oh, nope. He's going to class. So, he, I think he's going to fail, guys. I think he's going to fail out. We're going to have our first flunk out. You don't know how to install them? It's really easy. You just download them and put them in your downloads folder. <laughs> but there's a lot. If you just Google it, there's a lot of uh, guides and stuff. Okay, guy's home. Let's see if he tries to get pizza. Nope, he's going for for a dance. <laughs> My favorite mod out of all of them is ACR. Yep, Mary. <laughs> Mary agrees with me. My favorite mod is ACR, followed by the Sim Blender, because I just can't live without the Sim Blender, followed by Monique's hacked computer. If, you, if I could only have three mods, I would have ACR, Sim Blender, and Monique's hacked computer. Yep. Okay, stop that. Stop. Now, there's no pizza in this house. So you're going to have to go make something to eat. <laughs> go serve some... Oh, look. He has enough cooking skill. He can make mac and cheese. Go make mac and cheese for everybody. Ooh, he wants to get a skill. I'm locking it in. And he wants to throw a sports party, which we need to have another party because their level went back down again. All right, but right now he's going to get something. He's going to make some mac and cheese for everybody to eat when they get back. Yeah, bat boxes. Bat box is an, a necessity because I could do without it, but I really like to have it. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely, Mary. Yeah, you need those uh, anti-corruption mods. Oh, your Airbnb hostess wants to do a photo shoot with you. Ooh, are you are you getting famous on us, Max? <laughs> oh, you should definitely get ACR, Maeve. You should definitely. Just look up, uh, just Google, you know, how to install mods in The Sims 2. There's a lot of good uh, information on how to do it. It's really easy. And then just find the mods you want. All you do is put download it and put it into a folder, and then it works in your game. It's really easy. And if you just make sure you get reputable ones that everybody uses, like ACR and stuff, you're not going to have any problems. Oh, yes. The single plate food. Oh, I can't go back to living without that. I don't remember who told me about that. It might have been Shannon. She's told me about a lot of mods. But somebody told me about that, and I tried it out, and I just can't live without it now. Oh, thank you, Mary. There's a link to ACR. No, Maeve, it doesn't slow down anything. No, it's just like the same thing as a Word document or something. It's just a tiny little file that the game reads. You should do a B and B on The Sims, yeah. <laughs> America's next top model or America's most wanted. America's most wanted model. <laughs> How about that? You're welcome. And Maeve, if you have any problems, you can ask us in the Discord and we can help you more there. Okay, so let's see what's going on with our guys. He... Oh no, I thought he wanted to get a skill, but now he doesn't. Crap. Okay. Well, he wants to read it all. He wants to have a sports party. Let's just throw another party and see if we can get over here. Um, It's party every day in the fraternity house. Sports party. And every party ends up being a good time, which I don't even know how. Because I feel like they just ignore their guests. Nobody watches sports. <laughs> I have not used the autosave mod. I'm pretty good at rem remembering to save, and I've just been too lazy to download it. Um, but I'm sure it's it's good. I just haven't ever done it. He gained a cooking skill before. Well, that's good. <laughs> Okay, missing some of your party guests. Some people did not show up. Okay. he Every time we have a party, he just wants to influence everybody. Um, oh, look. He wants to... Ooh, he wants to do his assignment. So, you're going to skip out. Matthew's going to skip out on the party because he's, like, really intent on getting a good grade this semester. So, he's going to go and do his assignment while everybody else is partying away. And Guy is going to... Where are our party guests? Did anybody show up? 
Did nobody show up to the party? That is so sad. <laughs> oh no, here they come. Okay. Here they come. So we have a few people show up and he wants to influence someone to play, to appreciate, to have a pill, or he wants to influence someone to talk. Okay, so let's just influence somebody to do something. It doesn't matter. Uh, influence to talk to Jasmine. Uh, yeah, you don't have to do much with ACR. I just change a few settings and it just does its magic. Yeah, let us know if you need help in Discord. We'll try to help you out in there. I use a 7-zip to extract my files. Okay, it's a snoozer. It's a snooze alert. We need to get in here and talk to our guests. So, influent dance. Okay, he wants to dance with someone. Let's go dance. Get in here and dance. Or don't dance. Do the smussle. Get somebody to join you in the smussle. Let's ask these guys to join. Let's smussle. Come on. Come on, Francis J. Worthington the third. Uh, no, ACR doesn't do teen pregnancy. You'd have to have another mod for that. <clears throat> it does its magic. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy. Okay, downloading custom content is really easy. Yeah, Maeve. You just here's what you do once you down once you extract it once you download it in your game, then you just click on a sim, and you see adjust right here. You click that, you click casual romance, and you click, and then it would say spawn adjuster. So you'd spawn the adjuster, and then you can go in here and set your settings. Oh look, we're gonna have some woohoo! We're gonna have some woohoo between Jasmine and oh wait 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 wait. Let's select Jasmine. Let's make her selectable. Um, so maybe she'll get pregnant. Woo! We're gonna have some... You know what? I was really surprised last time when we played University. When we played Eva and uh, Fabian and all of them. Their generation. Nobody got pregnant. And I was so disappointed. I was like, I wanted a college pregnancy and we did not get one. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And they were woohooing like crazy too. Yeah, they, teens can have, like, some kind of interaction, I think. In Sims 4, they can mess around. I like that. I mean, I don't like that teens are messing. You know what I mean. <laughs> I like that they are able to do that in the game. <laughs> oh, I also wanted to tell you guys. Um, so, I'm going to be playing uh, Planet Zoo on Tuesday night because I'm going to get the close because I did a pre-order of the deluxe edition so I'm going to get the closed beta so I'm going to be playing Planet Zoo if anybody is interested in watching me play that I'm going to play it on my other channel be and I'll, I'll let you guys know a link in the discord but I'm going to do a stream of the as soon as the game is available for us to play uh, the beta I'm going to get in there and play it and look at it and I think we're not going to have access to like sandbox mode and stuff in the beta you're just going to have like some scenarios and stuff but I think it's going to be so much fun so I'm going to do that on Tuesday night on my Pleasant Place channel I decided I wasn't going to do it on on this channel on Pleasant Sims because I did a poll and I get like a small group of people that don't want to see anything um non-sims related on this channel which i understand that so i'm not gonna play non-sims related stuff on this channel but i'm gonna play it on my other channel so come and join me and watch uh planet zoo it looks really fun okay let's stop controlling her and i'll post more about that in the coming days as well you'll be there yay I'll name the ugliest animal, Anthony. The pygmy hippopotamus. <laughs> Bullpop is, uh, are you talking about the cheat code? 
I don't use Intine because it conflicts with too many other mods. Okay, my guys are... He got his woohoo, so now we need to take care of his needs. Did anybody get pizza yet? No, but there's still mac and cheese. Oh, he's going to sleep. Oh, he's, is he sleeping? Oh, he's sleeping. Never mind. He's sleeping in the nude. <laughs> no, the radio's on. It's just, like, not playing. I don't know why. Okay, now they're dancing to nothing. <laughs> That's okay, guys. If you can't make it, that's cool. I'm just basically doing that for fun. And, well, I do all my streams for fun, but you know what I mean. I'm doing it on a non-monetized channel just for fun. And uh, if I'll also have the playback available, too, on my other channel. But I'll talk to you guys more about that uh, in the Discord and stuff, too. Okay, you stink, dude. You stink. Why don't you go take a bath? Oh, look, a pizza! A magical pizza appears! <laughs> What is that? Oh, those are the bills. Those are the bills turning yellow. <laughs> In his birthday suit, yeah. And let's check on Mickey. Mickey, what are you doing? Sleeping on the couch during the party? Get up and talk to your guests. Oh my gosh, they all stink. We need more than one. Oh, we have a shower. How come I never? How come I just keep making them take a bath? <laughs> I didn't even realize we even had a shower in here. <laughs> okay, this guy's just doing his homework over here. I don't know. I think Mickey is not gonna make it. What is she doing? Stop it, Jasmine! <laughs> She's still over here dancing. Look, there's not even anything playing. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try to have him watch TV, like, one more time. And see if we can get him that skill he needs. If not, he's gonna flunk. He's gonna be gone. He's gonna be out of the house. <laughs> it took you forever to learn what birthday suit meant. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be against one of them getting abducted by aliens, but none of them really- We don't really have any knowledge sims that have had any interest in it. Is that toilet just really dirty or did somebody puke in it? Alright, he's gonna take his shower and how's he do- how Oh look, he's gonna get the Dean's List. So he's gonna get his wish. I'm happy about that. So he needs to go to sleep after he gets out of there. And then Mickey- Mickey, what are you doing, Mickey? Nope. <laughs> He's not gonna make it, you guys. He is not. <sighs> okay, just get up and go to bed. You're gonna flunk out. And everybody's in bed now. And their uh, exams are in seven hours. Mickey's gone, you guys. He's gone. Unless, I don't know, will he get put back on academic probation? I don't know if he might just get b put back on academic probation. <gasps> no, Max, I haven't because they're playables. They've all been playables. So I haven't uh, because I've just made them selectable instead. Unless, is Jasmine playable? Or was she just a dormy? Hold on, let me find out. If they're playable, I just make them selectable instead. Hold on, let me see. Uh, Sims 2. Oh, yeah, she's playable, too. Okay. Yep. All right. He'll be put back on it. Oh, okay. All right, let's save. She's just making herself at home. She's just gonna take a bath in here. So he... Okay, so he can get put back on probation, and then he'd have to flunk out again. Well. Let's hope he doesn't. But he's definitely going back on academic probation. He's trying to visit campus. He's sleeping in his pajamas, but he wants to visit campus. No. <laughs> She's gonna eat all their pizza. Okay, let's just keep going here. Let's get let's get this over with. Okay, they've got five hours until their exams. 
they're making it through somehow. All this partying and woohooing. Somehow they're making it. Actually, Matthew's gonna really make it. He's gonna be on the Dean's list. And you, he's not. He's gonna get like a C. Which is fine. He's using the bathroom. Let's just take care of his needs here. Um, he can eat some- Oh, wow. She stayed up all night on the bubble blower. <laughs> eat some of this pizza. Some of this desk pizza. <laughs> I've never read that before. I don't know what that is, Max. Was that like a fan fiction? Yeah. It's realistic that they go to class in their PJs. I see a lot of college students in their PJs. Oh my god, their bills. Their bills are $1,100. <laughs> they cannot afford them. And I can't believe a repo man hasn't come yet. Okay. You need to get up. Well, we'll let you sleep a little bit longer. You might as well. You don't have to go to, sleep, to class until... Oh, yeah, you do. You have to go right now. Oops. Get up. Well, here they go. To their final exams. Mickey is going back on academic probation. He did make it to sophomore. I don't know if he's going to make it past that, though. I'm just going to go through this real quick. And I have to pause it really quick when they get back so I can write down their money situation. Oh no! SimCity Collection Agency <laughs> is after us. <laughs> okay, here we go. Guy has gained enough life experience to change aspirations. No, we do not want to change his aspiration. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so... Mickey got a D, and he is back on academic probation. He did not get a grant. Guy got a C, so he got 400. Guy got 400. And Matthew got the Dean's List. He got 1,200. Okay, that's going to make it easier. We only have two Sims that we have to deposit money for. All right. Let's see here. You would go to class in sweats. <laughs> It's a beautiful story about Strange Town. Oh, I've heard of Strange Tomato. Oh, that's nice. I've heard of that name before, but I've never... I never, like, was really into the Sims 2 community that much before I started making these videos. <laughs> to be honest with you. I just kind of did my own thing. I hope you hope someone fails out. I kind of do, too. I always hope someone fails out. Just because it makes things more interesting. So this guy, he... He's got some work to do. We gotta get him at least one more skill. And I think if we get him another cooking skill, he might make it through. You, you need to go up and... Oh, he wants to get a skill. I'm gonna lock that in. He needs to go deposit his money. So we're gonna do that first. Bank online. Deposit 1,000. Bank online. Deposit 200. Wave. Wave. You can wave first, I guess. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm a maverick. I'm totally Mary. She's a hardcore lesbian who sw swears like a sailor. <laughs> she kind of looks like she would fit that. But in our story, she seems to really like Guy. <laughs> Almeric Davis. That's an interesting name. Okay, as soon as Matthew finishes depositing, then we can have Guy go deposit his 400 simoleons. I want someone to get pregnant, too. That's what I really want to happen. Okay, so he's got a total of 1,900 simoleons. And you know what, guys? We're going to have to build a flop house back in Strangetown because we have nowhere for these people to move into. We do have our apartment complex, but that some of them could move into, but they're going to... You just totally brought a pizza up here, didn't you? You did. But they're going to need like 5,000 simoleons to move into that apartment complex. So we need a flop house. So I think I'm going to build one. Or I might just use uh, slappies and just kind of like remodel it a little bit. Bank online, deposit. Oh, really? 200 or 500? Okay, so we have to do two deposits. Deposit another 200. <laughs> Oh, you need at least three sims to be fraternity? Oh, no. 
<laughs> I hope he doesn't flunk out then. Yeah, the beakers might have a room for one of them. That's true. If he wants to do his assignment, I'm going to lock that in. At least get him that far. Okay, Mickey, what are you up to? You better get busy. You better get busy learning the cooking skill. Get down here. I guess eat some of this pizza. There you go. Oh, he's eating the rotten pizza. Mickey. Gross. Well, at least it's not going to waste, I guess. Yeah, we probably will uh, have to invite somebody else in. They need a sugar mama or daddy. Yeah. <laughs> the pizza factory. <laughs> yeah, we need another recruit. Okay, so he's got 1,600 simoleons now. Good for you. Now let's see what you want to do. You want to do your assignment, so we'll have you do that. What's that? Have a good reputation. Let's do college. Do assignment. Okay, who is anybody getting close to graduating? No. Guy is a weird name. I think it is, too. <laughs> what? Oh my god, what's happening? No, Mickey's going crazy, you guys. He's losing his mind. He's an aspiration failure. No, he's making out with a paper plate mop. <laughs> we gotta get a picture of that. Mickey, no! I gotta put the walls up. Hold on. No, Mickey, no! That's not a lady! <laughs> oh my god. This is what happens. This is what happens. We gotta get a- oh yeah, we gotta get a good shot. There we go. He's really, really making out with that. With that plate there. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I guess he needs to go on a date. Is that what he's trying to tell us? He needs to go on a date really bad. <laughs> Better than Guy's problem. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's going to take a bath, and then we're going to get him on a date. Because that'll help us get his aspiration up pretty fast. Oh, hello, Jasmine. When did you get here? Oh, he does not like her. He'll go ask what's-her-face out on a date. What's her name? His girlfriend, Jesse? He'll go ask her out on a date. Guy went to class, and Matthew, he needs to have fun. He really needs to have fun. Um, what do you like to do? Doesn't he like fitness? Yeah, let's have him do some jump roping. For fun. Okay, we'll jump rope! Jeez, what's your deal? <laughs> we need a new billboard. <laughs> that wall wasn't painted? I didn't even notice. I'll have to go look. Okay, ask her out on a date. Um, oh, let's go to a community lot. We haven't gone anywhere. We're going to a community lot. Um, let's go... I don't know where. Come out here and wait. Pizza billboard, yeah. <laughs> no problem, Marcus. Um, I'm probably going to stream for about 15 more minutes. Probably right about the time this date is over. We'll be done. And the guys are doing, they're doing pretty good here. I mean, sort of. <laughs> they're doing okay. <laughs> We've made some progress. All right, we're going to go to, we're going to stay in La Fiesta Tech. And we're going to go... Where should we go on a date? Let's go to the Cacti Cafe. The Plaza. The Library. Student. Let's go to the Student Union. We'll go to the Student Union. You're up way past your bedtime. <laughs> you, I know. We need more friends. You're right about that. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry up! He's gonna stand her up because I shouldn't have done that. Go! Go! Ooh, he barely made it. <laughs> it's only 8.48 there. It's 7.48 where I am. Oh my gosh, it's almost 4 a.m. So sorry, you guys. 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing these earlier. Uh, most of the time I'm going to be doing these streams a lot earlier. Just today was a special case and I didn't want to not do it. It's actually been a lot of fun. Um, I really like playing the university students. It's really fun to hang out with you guys when I only have, you know, like a, a much smaller group in the chat. Because I, I feel like I can really talk to you guys better when I don't have 150 people in the chat, you know. Alright, here we are on our date. Here we are. And he's stinky as heck. He wants to, or wait, she wants to. He wants to play with her and tell her a joke and dance with her. So let's, let's just go tell her a joke and get the ball rolling. Tell her a dirty joke. He's like, he just doesn't even care about his grades right now. He's like, I need to have some fun because I'm going insane. Hmm. Making out with the paper plate mop. <laughs> it's okay on the weekends. Well, that's good. <laughs> Okay, hey, they just became best friends. Yay! What? Why is their date over? Oh my gosh, that was the suckiest date ever. So, okay. <laughs> I know her outfit is terrible. Look at that. <laughs> She's wearing a pink denim jacket with a red skirt, a red plaid skirt, and brown leggings and flip flops. I mean, that is the most awful thing. That is terrible. She's a terrible dresser. And now their date is over. Okay. Well, that sucked. I guess go back home? I, I don't know. I don't know why it was over so fast. Maybe she had to go to class or something. That, that was terrible. She got friend zoned. <laughs> They became best friends, and then she's like, all right, I gotta go. Look, he's also got two bolts with Jasmine. Um, all right, let's go. Just go back home. I don't know what to say. He only wanted to be friends. We can do better. <laughs> we can do better than her. She can't even dress herself. I know she looks like a, a two-year-old picked out her outfit. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> I think it's my default replacements, probably. All right, get out here. Get out here, Mickey, after that terrible date you just went on. And get back home, I guess. Let's see. I'm really worried about him. He wants to get on the Dean's list, and I keep trying to make him get skills, but it's, like, so hard to even for him to even get one skill point. He's an art major. <laughs> I know that was so, uh, that was so short of a date. Yeah, I think she was going to class, too. It must have been. <laughs> favorite and least favorite aspiration? Uh, my favorite aspiration is family. Because I like to breed my sims. And my least favorite one is pleasure. <laughs> You've had better dates. <laughs> He's home. He needs to take a bath. Maybe he stank so bad that he scared her away. <laughs> so he's gonna go take a shower. And then we'll see if we can get him another skill point. I'm gonna try and have him watch the cooking channel again. This professor is just like stalking them. <laughs> I don't know why you'd show up to a date knowing. She just wanted to get a little hug in. <laughs> Same, Mary. Favorite is knowledge, least favorite romance. I like romance, actually. I know some people don't, but I do. Okay, he's still jump roping. Get, he got a body skill. Hey, did he need body? No, of course not. Okay, wait. Is there anything we can have him do for fun that he needs a skill for? Logic, but they don't have a chess table. He could go to community lot. Don't you dare visit campus. You don't like fortune? I like fortune. <laughs> least favorite is pleasure. Yeah. Fa uh, pleasure's my least favorite, too. He wants to eat lunch meat sandwiches. Do we have any? Nope. Well, too bad. You get to eat pizza because you keep bringing it home and so that's all you get. <laughs> I... I kind of 
like that about Fortune. I like that they have wants for stuff they don't need because then it may, it forces me to buy stuff that I wouldn't normally buy for a family. Guy's wasting time trying to build class performance. Guy, why are you doing that? Stop it. <laughs> Stop wasting your time. Okay, I guess we better unlock that then. I'd throw another party, but I don't know if we have time for that. No, stop it, guy. Stop that. He wants to meet someone new. He wants to have three best friends. Who's he close to being best friends with? Mickey. Let's have him go watch TV with Mickey and talk to him. Maybe they can get up to best friend status. Yeah, like when Dawn bought a drum set. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, the want 10 kids thing, I almost, I never try for that because it's almost impossible. They'd have to have like set after set after set of twins and it's just, hey, look, they just became best friends. That was cool. Ooh, now he wants to get a skill point. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it, guy. Charisma and body. Okay, why don't you go for body? Go jump rope and get some body skill. And Matthew... Matthew. Oh, here comes the cheerleader. Nothing, like, interesting is happening right now. Let's see. What can we do? Uh, learn couples counseling. That's what you want to do. Eat lunch meat sandwich. Write your term paper. You're, you turned boring, Matthew. Okay, go answer the phone. How about that? Go answer the phone. Not you, Mickey. You sit down. <laughs> he still has not got a point, a skill point. What is wrong with him? <laughs> oh, yeah, you could adopt. Yeah, you could definitely adopt. Yeah, 10 kids. Oh, that's rough. Who's he chatting with? I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> I thought he was talking on the phone. I don't know who called on the phone. So he's chatting with Mickey. Mickey really needs to get in there and learn that cooking skill. Mickey, I'm not letting you off the hook. Go watch TV. What is your problem? All I'm asking you to do is watch TV. <laughs> you should be able to do that. You're lazy. He's going to try again. This girl just keeps showing up here. Nobody cares about her. You've had ha you've had Dawn have 20 lovers but never had 10 kids. I find lovers to be easier. Well, it's easier to have kids. I don't know. I don't know which one's easier. Nope, he's going to class. I'm a I fear for Mickey. I fear for that he's not going to make it. Okay, he's still trying to get his body skill. Matthew's in here talking to the cheerleader. Oops. He's also not going to make it if he doesn't get some skills. Look at this. We're Two of our sims are in danger of flunking out. And all he wants to do is learn couples counseling and eat lunch meat sandwiches. Guys, stop it. Stop trying to do your assignment. What is wrong with you? You got to get a skill point first. Go jump rope some more. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> It is hard to get 20 lovers without getting caught, yeah. And keep them all, it is, yeah. <laughs> if all you do is work and woo. <laughs> Why don't you jump rope like I told you to? I don't know why he keeps stopping. Okay, he's just not going to do it. What other skill could we get for him? Charisma. Okay, I'm going to have him take a shower and then practice his speech, and then we will focus on Matthew here. Matthew seems to be getting along good with this chick. Yeah, it's when they woohoo on a community lot. That's the problem, because they get caught. Their bills are 1,100 simoleons. Okay, let's have him go and make some uh, lunch meat sandwiches so we can get rid of that one. Oh, he can't make them right now. Maybe he can. Make a single plate of lunch meat sandwiches. And get rid of that one. Maybe he'll roll something better. Yeah. Your Dawn is married to Cass in Sims 2 and, and to Nina in Sims 4. <laughs> You always make Dina and Don a couple. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, yeah, that reminds me, too, guys. I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be streaming uh, The Sims 4 again on Wednesday night. So if you guys want to join me for that, I'm going to be making uh, Dina and Nina in The Sims 4, and then we're going to be building their condo, too. So if you want to come hang out with me for that on Wednesday night at, like, 4 p.m. my time, so like an hour earlier than what this stream was. So still pretty late for some people, I know. <laughs> At 4 p.m. Mountain Time. So 5 p.m. your time, Mary. I'm going to be doing that. I'm really actually having fun doing that. So I'm just going to keep doing it until it's not fun anymore. <laughs> you got mad, Marcus. I love them as a couple. <laughs> yeah, I like that too, Zinni. I like that the romance sims don't get jealous so much. It makes it a lot easier. She just keeps trying to talk to him. He's like, leave me alone. What is your problem? <laughs> oh, Wednesday's when you make videos. That's cool. You made one this Wednesday, but haven't edited it. Yeah. I, what I've been doing lately has been working really well for me is I've been making a video on one day and then editing it the next day and i feel like a lot less stressed whenever i do that but i'm excited because i'm making a new video tomorrow and i haven't 100 percent decided on what it's going to be on yet <laughs> it just kind of happened it just it just kind of fell into place that way with mary sue and cassandra Matthew is cute. I, I'm kind of getting a little worried about him hanging out here with Natasha so much. I'm worried she's going to steal him away from Sarah. But, you know, maybe he needs a little bit of experience with another girl. He's only ever been with Sarah, like, his high school sweetheart. And maybe it would be interesting if he kind of started falling for Natasha. And this has just happened naturally. Happening naturally. Ooh, he wants to get level three in something. You think it was kind of weird? You, were, you weren't a fan either. <laughs> I liked it. I think it was perfect for them. Okay, so... He got his charisma skill. And that means he's gonna possibly pass. Yay! <laughs> he's gonna make it. <laughs> Their romance is gonna last as long as Mickey does in La Fiesta, I know. <laughs> I kinda like that uh, Matthew's getting to know another girl, though. I think it makes sense. I think it's realistic. Okay, go eat some pizza. Oh my gosh, did he totally just bring another pizza in here? Oh gosh. So I'm just going to take care of everybody's needs and send them to bed and then we'll wrap up. So we've had, it's been quite eventful here. It started off with a whole lot of partying and woohoo and then they just sort of like settled into their college life and started working on their skills and stuff. And we haven't had anybody fail out yet but Mickey is, Mickey is right on the edge. It's so weird because I've never had a sim want to get on the Dean's list for so long and not even be able to get enough skill points to pass. So, it's, like, really weird. <laughs> I agree with that, Mary. I think that both of those are true. That Cass is the long-suffering romantic and Mary Sue is obsessed with Daniel. But I also think that they just sort of, like, were like, we're not going to have the life we want. So, we might as well just have a life together. And so, that's kind of how I see what happened with them. I don't know. They're just giving the pizzas away. <laughs> Okay, come on, guys. Get it together. Uh, Mickey's... He's just gonna go to bed now. I have nothing else for you, Mickey. Actually, you know, he has time. He has time. Let's go try one more time. Pizza are us, yeah. <laughs> He's eating two boxes of pizza. Okay, let's change... To okay, you're not... He was not even watching the... He probably wasn't even watching the cooking channel. <laughs> Alright. 
I don't know if he's gonna- It looks like he might make it if he sits here long enough. How come he could never make it before? <sighs> Alright, there we go. He got his skill point. He got it. He got it. He got it. He's gonna pass. He's not gonna fail. <laughs> I kind of wanted him to fail, but he's not going to. That's sad. I'm, I'm just, like, rooting for him to fail. He's gonna go to bed. Uh, Matthew is... I don't know what he's doing. He needs to go to bed, too. Guy's gonna go to bed, and that'll be it for the guys. That'll be it for our fraternity this time. And then, so in our next Members Only stream, we will play the sorority, and we'll get the other side of the story. And see if any of our sorority girls got knocked up, too. <laughs> he should deliver pizza, yeah. <laughs> No Repo Man. The Repo Man did not come. I don't know why, because I thought it had been enough time, but it looks like the bills are still yellow. At least those are. No, these these bills are red, so he would probably be coming the next day. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Daniel's Daniel's not great. <laughs> Although, in my story, Daniel has kind of turned around and, and he's been a lot better now that he's gotten remarried. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save. And I guess, guys, we've been going for three hours and five minutes, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. So thanks so much for joining me for our first members only stream. It was so much fun playing La Fiesta Tech. In our, in our next members only stream, like I said, we're going to play the sorority house and that's gonna be fun we might actually get some pregnancies that way <laughs> bye guys everybody have a great night and like i said i'll be doing sims 4 on wednesday night i'll be doing uh, planet zoo on tuesday night and i'll be posting about that in the discord and on my twitter um, so you can watch out for that. I might even post it on my Pleasant Sims on my community tab too. And next time for our uh, members only stream, I'll try to post right before I go live on the community tab. So hopefully you guys will get updated of that. And, uh, and we'll see how that works next time. So thanks everybody for joining me. Uh, Christina, next week's live stream is going to be... Let me check real quick. I've got it right here. I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I don't remember what I wanted to do. Let's see. It's... What is wrong with me? Oh, we're gonna do... Next week, we're gonna do Strange Town again. We're gonna finish Gary. We're gonna finish Loser Gary's story. And then, once we finish his week, we're gonna go over and play Jessica again so she can have her baby. So that's what I wanna do. I wanna finish up those two stories in Strange Town in next week's uh, Saturday stream. So I'm actually doing three streams next week. One for Strange Town, one for Sims 4 Pleasant View, and one for Planet Zoo. So I hope you guys can join me for some of those. <laughs> Bye. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. And I'll have some new videos out for you guys next week, too, and a new newsletter tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good rest of your weekend. And thanks for watching. And anybody who's watching this back on YouTube after I post this tomorrow, if you would like to join us for these members-only live streams, you can become a member of my channel by clicking the little join button down below, uh, right beside the subscribe button, and you'll get all the information on becoming a channel member if you join at the live Simming is Life uh, level. You'll be able to join us for these streams as well. So thanks for watching again, guys. Have a great night.